Welcome to Northern Arizona Youth Football. It's the Mighty Might Championship game. I'm Matt Showalter along with Jake Clement. Great day for football always. It's overcast. It's cold. It's probably going to rain. It already has. But that didn't dampen that first game. Third place, the winner there goes to the Camp Verde Coyotes defeating the Cottonwood Marauders 14-7. Great game there. Jake, we expect a good one in this one as well. You have the number one Chino Valley Cougars, two-time defending champions, taking out a number three Baghdad Razorbacks team who's, well, they're pretty good too. They're coming off of two solid defensive performances, Matt, and they're led by their quarterback, Lucene Cohn. Um, they can also throw the ball as well as run it. They have uh, Gavin Armstrong. He's a hard around the end. He puts everyone in his way on the ground on defense. And then on offense, they have running back Deegan Owing. So the key is getting uh, for Baghdad is even their passing game here. It could be a key in this game. Yeah, Lucian Cohn. A big one there for Baghdad. For the Chino Valley Cougars, team speed, team strength. That's why they've been dominant all season long and, in fact, the last three years. And so we should see that on display as this team, they hit hard, they play fast, and we'll see how this, if they can come back and, and get another championship and make it three in a row. We'll be back with the start of our ball game. Again, it is the championship game of the Mighty Mites, number one Chino Valley versus number three Baghdad. All Price Insurance on Main Street in Cottonwood is your local insurance provider for personal and commercial insurance. Call and compare 23 insurance companies for home, health, auto, RV, motorcycle, boat, or ATV. Specialty insurance and insurance bonds are no problem at All Price Insurance. Call or visit All Price Insurance today. Got a long trip coming up? Grab your book and relax while their driver does all the work. Call CK's Need a Lift. CK's Need a Lift, serving Prescott and the Verde Valley for over 10 years. CK's Need a Lift, a reliable, clean, non smoking method of transportation. Perfect for when you want to get from place to place, go to that special event, or even airport transportation. And they have room for up to 11 passengers in their club van. Rely on CK's Need a Lift, 928 301 1982. From the Glen Canyon Dam to the corner sidewalk, Salt River Materials Group has helped build Arizona and the Southwest since 1959. Formerly known as Phoenix Cement and Salt River Sand and Rock, Salt River Materials Group supplies cement and aggregates to Northern Arizona. As a proud supporter of the Northern Arizona community, their customers, employees, and the environment, Salt River Materials Group believes in profitability the right way with integrity, accountability, and excellence. the Mighty Mites championship game as the Chino Valley Cougars take on the Baghdad Razorbacks. For Chino Valley, they'll be dressed in the, I would say, royal blue jerseys with the silver numerals and helmets. For the Baghdad Razorbacks, it is uh, more of a darker blue and red numerals. Now, I'll just have to be honest with you, that might be a little challenge for me, a little slightly colorblind. And uh, from our distance, it might be a little tough, so we're going to be depending on our television feed here. So if you're a Baghdad fan and you're uh, watching or a part of this DVD, so forgive us if uh, somehow we don't get all those correct. But we're going to try. We really are because we know names are important. Well, for the Chino Valley Cougars, they come into this game 7-1. and one. As I mentioned earlier, they are the two-time defending champs of the Mighty Might division. And their head coach, Taylor, he's been with his team three years, a record of 30 wins, two losses, and again, those two championships. Also, the Cougars are returning four players this year who have been with the team for three seasons. And I think, Jake, that also uh, makes a big difference, too, when you can have players you see that can go ahead and understand the system and what's expected. Especially an experience factor, Matt, three seasons in the system. This, I expect to give a little edge here to Chino Valley, although in our first game we saw Camp Verde pull the ups in the first game, so anything can happen in these Mighty Mike games. Yeah, so for Baghdad, they've been having success football just all the way across the board. You have the Mighty Mike team here, then also they're in the championship game of the Miners. 
against the William Bengals and also their high school team won the D6 state championship of the eight-man football. They come in here with the defensive ends are key for their victory. They can do a good job of outside containment, and they fire quick on offense. And, again, pretty strong team up front on the line. And uh, it's, again, a, a team that also can do a little change of pace, too. And so they like trying to catch teams off guard a little bit. Some of the key players looking for them is Lucian Cohn, number 12, the quarterback and the safety. Good breakout speed and, and uh, has uh, the ability to make teams miss on tackles. Gavin Armstrong, a defensive end and running back. Again, key around the edges. Isaac Morris, a center defensive line, stabilizes them there. And Jake mentioned Deegan Owings, number 26, a running back. He can uh, hit hard and also he can find the holes. Uh, for them. For offensively for Chino Valley, Weston Cuelo, uh, again, he's fast. They call him Wheels, and he's the highest scorer on the team this year. 20 touchdowns. Also, you have Joseph, they call the Giant Nisley. Uh, pound for pound, one of the uh, best defensive tackles uh, that they uh, have. And then also third year, number six, Ashton Butterfly Lofton. And he is getting good blocking. And, uh, again, the reason why he got the nickname Butterfly, they said his head coach, uh, Leon Taylor, said that he used to chase butterflies during practice when he was younger in his first year. Yeah, that, that uh, I, it's certainly uh, he's shown his ability to – uh, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, uh, the way he hits and the way he can run on offense. And also some other players is Isaiah Kimberly, uh, Caden Wagner, Jaden Felton also uh, players expect to come up big for them offensively and defensively. So for this game, Jake, again, it's like the last game we saw in the third place game. If teams can just keep away from turnovers, uh, again, we should expect a pretty close game all the way through because you're talking about two best teams uh, in the Mighty Might division here. You are, and you're talking about an explosive number, seven, Taylor. number two and Joseph the Giant Kinsley, eight, Kinsley for it's Chino Valley, which we'll see if he's going to be a factor on def defense against number Baghdad's eight, offense. Yeah, uh, nicely, Joseph nicely. Uh, you're talking about their number two, Joseph nicely. Uh, yeah, he's a big key for them because, uh, again, he, he can really hold the center of that defense uh, pretty tough there. So. Team captains uh, shaking hands here at uh, midfield as we're just about ready to start this championship game of this Mighty Might division. Second of five games on championship day, uh, followed by the Miners' third place. Chino Valley back in action. The Cougars' uh, Miners team taking on the Cottonwood Bears in the third place game a little later on in the Miners' championship. Number one, Williams Bengals taking on number two, Baghdad Razorbacks. Then the 4 o'clock Majors Championship, number one, Wickenburg Wranglers taking on number two, Cottonwood Panthers. Already we've had the third place Mighty Might win. That's by number four C Camp Verde Cody's. Win at 14 to 7 over the Cottonwood Marauders in a very, very good game. They had a first half defensive stop right before the half. Uh, for Camp Verde, and also a, a big win for them all the way across the board. So, again, pretty good crowd out here again, Jake. Uh, again, the weather's not cooperating very much. It's not raining right now, but it's gotten colder. But uh, you see a good uh, turnout here, and that's great to see. Yeah, you do, Matt. You see these people that are really smart, and they brought their tents out today so they weren't going to get rained on, so they can watch the game and enjoy their kids play as well. Yeah, it is uh, uh, for sure as they uh, – been around these parts and uh, they know how to, to to make the most of it well winning the toss back dad razorbacks and so kicking off will be the uh, chino valley uh, ball club the cougars again will be dressed in the uh, royal blue jerseys with the silver helmets and uh, for baghdad razorbacks uh, they're more in the darker blue with uh, red numerals and so here comes our kickoff and that's uh, going to be scooped up there at about the 21-yard line. And uh, they'll be stopped over the, about the 21. And so it'll be up first down and 10 for Baghdad Razorbacks uh, at their own 21-yard line. First down and 10 at their own 21-yard line. And it looked to be Lucene Cohn on the return right there, Matt for Baghdad. And uh, Chino Valley did a great job there of holding them from getting to the 25-yard line there on that yeah. play. Yeah, Lucian, uh, good stop over there. Uh, so we see at uh, about the 22-yard line where they'll have it first down and 10 for the Baghdad Razorbacks. So Lucian Cohn on the stop there, good stop for Chino Valley. So they have it at their own 22. They'll turn to give uh, the left, left side over to about the 26-yard uh, line. 
for Baghdad. And uh, I think it's Landers, uh, let's see, Owings on that one for the uh, Baghdad Ball Club. So up to about the uh, 26-yard line. So nice uh, second uh, five-yard pickup uh, at their own 26-yard line. And here again, me and Matt will do the best job we can of trying to get you the players here for Baghdad on the plays. And uh, so, again, it's just uh, way to go, O'Neal. They get loose and uh, to the left there. And uh, up to about the 29-yard line, let's see. Uh, uh, that was a nice uh, little carry there by uh, number 17 for the Razorbacks. And uh, that's going to be Armstrong. So Armstrong picks up uh, about a couple yards on the play. So to bring up now third down and three at their own 28-yard line. And so they break out of the huddle. As he looks over the defense, you got three uh, defensive front there for Chino Valley. And this will be a quarterback keepered by Cone. Cone, Lucien Cone gets out to about the, oh, 30, make it about the 38-yard line. So a pickup of 10 on the play, first down and 10 uh, at their own 38 for Baghdad on the opening series. And Matt, he just laid his shoulder down right there, and he just laid out a couple of Chino Valley players on his way to a first down right there. Look at the lumber right there as he lays the Chino Valley player on his back. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're so excited. One of the players got hit on his way out of the huddle by one of his own players that get up to that line. So they are really <laughs> excited. So right now we'll have it now first down and 10 for Baghdad at their own 38-yard line. A little mix-up there, but give off coming near sideline is number four, Hooper. And Hooper is down at about the 34-yard line. So uh, Baghdad, so actually loss of four on the play. Second down and 14 uh, at their own 34-yard line. Didn't look to fool anybody there from Chino Valley on defense. As you were talking about the penetration of number two, Joseph Kinsley, nicely for Chino Valley as he was in on the stop. Yeah, nicely. Nice stop over there for sure. So, again, it's uh, second down, 14 from Durham, 34. It's quarterback keeper sloshing through it all up to his 40, and he's wrestled down at about the 41-yard line of uh, Baghdad. So, nice quarterback keeper there by Cohn as he gets about seven yards on the play. So he has already 19 yards rushing in this ball game. Third down, and they're going to say about seven yards to go from their own 41-yard line for Baghdad Razorbacks, a team that comes in with a pretty strong team defensively. And uh, they uh, like to use some counter plays offensively. We see it here. Cone, the quarterback. And here's Cone now will roll it out. He'll keep it himself. And Cone to the 40. Cone to the 43. Wow, nice stop over there on the far sideline over there by number three for Chino Valley. That's Weston Cuelo on a nice stop. So fourth down now at about their own 43-yard line for Baghdad on a nice two-yard rush there by the quarterback, Cone. And it looks like in this Mighty Might Championship game early on, this is a huge fourth down play early on in this game. Yeah, it is. And we saw that uh, in that previous game between Camp Verde and Cotland Marauders. And Camp Verde, a winner there, 14-7. Uh, they get third place. And uh, here is Cone, the quarterback. He has three uh, runners in the backfield now with him. And uh, so trying to draw them off sides. And it may have possibly worked. And... Uh, well, we don't see a penalty. Nope, there is a penalty flag, and it's, it's going to be offsides on the defense for Chino Valley, again, the three-time defending champion for this Mighty Mice division. So the ball is up now to about the 47-and-a-half-yard line, so it's about a yard short. So fourth down and a short two from about the, their own 48-yard uh, line for the Baghdad Razorbacks. It's the opening drive, 6.27 to go. In the first quarter, first drive of the game for Baghdad Razorbacks, or anyone for that matter. This time taken by a cone. Cone, 50, 45, 40. Cone trying to get one man who's trying to angle him down at the 20-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. A nice stop in there by number three, Coelho, who prevented the touchdown. But a nice run there uh, from the 48 all the way down to about the 14, Jake. Wow, what a run by Cone, Matt, as he showed his elusiveness right there. His agility got it on the outside. Look at, look at the speed right here, Matt, shown by the quarterback, Cone, on this play. 
as he rumbles down the 15-yard line. But number three for Chino Valley, which is uh, Coelho. Coelho, Weston Coleo, made a great play right there saving a touchdown but that was a key penalty back here this offsides penalty because it made it set a fourth and six made it fourth and one yeah it sure did so nice misdirection play first down to 10 to the 14 that was a 38 yard run there uh, by cone the quarterback down inside the 14 of chino valley baghdad with the football cone will give it to number 17 armstrong and armstrong down to about the uh, they're gonna say maybe even down to the 10 so armstrong pick up there of four on the play two carries for six yards and so it'll bring up now second down and six from the 10-yard line of Chino Valley. Opening drive, 535 left to go. First quarter of this Mighty Might Championship game on an overcast day here in Cottonwood. And it looks like Baghdad being the underdog in this game, Matt, wants to jump out in front early in this game. It'd be huge for them to get the first score of this game. They say they'd like to strike quick and be strong about it. Here is Cone, the quarterback. Nice little snap from center. He's rolling out, looking to pass, but he'll keep it himself, and he darts inside down to about the seven-yard line. So a pickup of three on the play. Third down and three at the seven-yard line. So pick up for Cone, who's been doing the bulk of the running for the Mighty Mites. So he has 62 yards on six carries. Hooper has a carry for minus four. Armstrong, two carries for six yards. It looks like Cone wanted to throw that ball, which means he, he must have an arm. Yeah, and for Mighty Mice, you don't see a lot of that, but they're, they're willing to give it a shot. And this time again, it's Cone at quarterback. And this is Cone again trying to get inside, stretches across as he make it. Touchdown. Cone on a nice, nice run. 4.36 to go here in the first quarter. It is now 6-0 in favor of Baghdad over Chino Valley. Cone, Matt, I've I got to say, out of the two games that I've seen, here's a replay of this Watch Cone. Just cuts it up right there. Once, not once, not twice. A missed tackle by number 22 for Chino Valley right there, which is Holmes. And he just he stretched across that goal line. He's a tough kid to Cones from Baghdad. Yeah, and so that was a, a seven-yard TD run for number 12, Cone. And right now, Baghdad in the lead. Six to nothing. Uh, they're going to try to run this one across. Cone rolls. He'll draw a nice one in the end zone, but it falls incomplete. So right now, Baghdad has a six to zero lead here in the first quarter. And that again coming with about 4.36 to go in the first quarter. Our score, Baghdad six, Chino Valley nothing. It's the Money Mice Championship game on Verde Valley TV. <laughs> No other garage door opener opens your world like a LiftMaster. What other garage door opener alerts you if you forgot to close it and gives you the ability to close it from anywhere, anytime with MyQ technology? Only a professionally installed LiftMaster. From long-lasting LiftMaster openers to quality garage doors from CHI and Mid-America Door, Northern Arizona Garage Doors is your local professional for installation and repair. Local service makes the difference. Find out more at nazgaragedoors.net. It was a seven-yard TD run for Cone for Baghdad. Puts them up seven no six, six to nothing. They missed the PAT. So Baghdad, Razorbacks lead Chino Valley six nothing. And here is going to be Coelho. He gets loose. 35, 40, 45. Does he have it? He does. Clear field. And he'll go all the way. Looks to be about an 83-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Coelho gets him on the board for Chino Valley. 4-17 to go first quarter, 6-6. Wow. <laughs> what a run by Coelho for Chino Valley. Is He's got the speed and the agility, Matt. And he, Let's take a look right. at this one. And it's going all the way back to the 23-yard line. So that's a 77-yard kickoff return for Coelho. Here's what they say about Coelho Weston. Wheels. Weston is the fastest kid on the team, and he sure showed it on that play, Matt. He's got 21 touchdowns now in the year. Remarkable. Wow, that's something. So Coelho gets loose, and right now they're going to go for this uh, conversion to try to get the lead. Uh, this will hand it off. Coming around the near side, cuts back inside. Does he get it? 
And they're going to say he fumbled and he does not get it. So, once again, 417 to go. First quarter, our score, Mighty Might Championship game. Baghdad 6, Chino Valley Cougars 6 on Bernie Valley TV. Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros give you more miles for your money. Locally owned and grown, Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros will beat any competitor. Bring your best deal and they'll beat it on price, total service, tire quality, and arguably the best nationwide warranty. For 24 months or 24,000 miles and available at 30,000 locations coast to coast. Get more miles for your money every day from your hometown team, Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros. Six six opening drives here for the Mighty Mites championship game between Baghdad and Chino Valley. Kicked at the 27. It's a pretty sloppy field. And this time Cone at the 40. 45. He gets to the 45 himself. And there's nobody going to be on him. And we see no penalty flags. Back to back kick returns. Makes it all the way in. Uh, four. Uh, that is a great kick return there by Cone. So let's go ahead and uh, when we get a chance to look at this one back, Cone's already scored out from seven yards. And let's see, let's see where he picks this one up at. Uh, looks like he's going to get this one at about uh, 27. So let's give him a 73-yard kick return. Look at Cone right here. As he just gets outside, Matt shows, shows his speed and agility right there. He outruns a whole – Chino Valley defense right there for a big score. We've had two special teams touchdowns in this game, and we never even talked about special teams before this game, but it's going to play a big factor, it looks like, in this game with uh, Cone and uh, Chino Valley uh, Calejo. Yeah, I'll tell you what, so far it's, it's been uh, huge. Right now with first quarter scores, it was – a low-scoring affair in that uh, third-place game between Kemp Verde and Cottonwood. Kemp Verde a winner, 14-7 from Cottonwood Marauders. And so right now we've already got a 12-6 game in favor of Baghdad Razorbacks about midway through the first quarter. And we get a timeout. Let's keep it here. Let's go ahead and recap the scoring. And there's been a lot so far. First quarter with about 4.36 to go. Seven-yard TD run by Cone for Baghdad, up 6-0. They missed the PAT. Then immediately after that, it was a 77-yard kickoff return by number three, Kuyelo, Kuyelo, and he gets it on the board to miss the PAT, and that makes the score 6-6 six six is uh, where we had it until right after that, immediately following. It was a 73-yard kickoff return by Cone for a TD. And right now, that's what we have at 12 to 6. This time, he's going to try to throw in the end zone wide open, and he has it. So they get the extra point attempt, and so right now, that is good. And so right now, Baghdad Razorbacks are up by the score of 13 to 6 over the Chino Valley Cougars, who are the two time defending champions. So right now, this number three ranked Baghdad Razorbacks are winning 13 to 6. This is Verde Valley TV. From the Glen Canyon Dam to the corner sidewalk, Salt River Materials Group has helped build Arizona and the Southwest since 1959. Formerly known as Phoenix Cement and Salt River Sand and Rock, Salt River Materials Group supplies cement and aggregates to Northern Arizona. As a proud supporter of the Northern Arizona community, their customers, employees, and the environment, Salt River Materials Group believes in profitability the right way with integrity, accountability, and excellence. First quarter score, 13-6 in this Mighty Might Championship game as Baghdad leads Chino Valley Cougars. They'll pick it up there at the 35-yard line coming here near side. And that's going to get loose to a tackle down to about the 47-yard line of Chino Valley Cougars. So the Cougars answer it back there on a nice run. Uh, let's see. That's going to be number six, Ashton Lofton, on a nice return up to about the – we're going to say about the 47-yard, Jake. So now first down and 10, we get a chance to see the Chino Valley offense roll a little bit here. 
Yeah, they didn't kick right there. Smart job by Baghdad and not kicking to Weston Calejo right there because he's got already 21 touchdowns of the season. So yeah. Baghdad's pretty smart there and not kicking it to him. Yeah, including a 77-yard kickoff return for a TD here already in this game. So another thing, too, a factor, Jake, is that I know the players are out there playing and running and, you know, staying warm and that type of deal. But, you know, your hands start to get a little bit cold, and uh, that, that could uh, become a factor a little bit later on. This time it'll be hand off right up to the middle. And nice down to about the 42, Lofton all the way down. Uh, so he picks up a nice run there down to the 42-yard line of Baghdad. First down and 10, pickup of 11 on that play there for Lofton on a nice rush. As you see, number a little two there for Baghdad running off the field, man. He must be about three feet, three and a half feet tall, but he's playing hard out there. Yeah, he is. He is. He's, he's hitting hard, playing hard. So right now, first down and 10 from the 42. They'll just go ahead and play power football right up to the middle, down to about the 37-yard line of Baghdad. Chino Valley again, just a little power action right up to the middle there. And again, that's going to be number six, and that's going to be Lofton. As he gets down to, again, about the 40, uh, just outside the 43. Uh, I'm sorry, to the 37-yard line. So pick up, we'll say five. Second down at five there. So Lofton has two carries for 16 yards here in, in the first quarter. 3.18 to go. 13-6 to six in favor of Baghdad over Chino Valley here in this Mighty Might Championship game. The third place winner was the Camp Verde Coyotes over the Cottonwood Marauders. This time, delay handoff and Coelho. And Coelho, 35 to the 30, 25, 20. And he's going all the way in for a touchdown. 37 yards out to Weston Coelho coming up big. Getting on the board with 2.56 to go in the first quarter. Made the score 13-12. Here's a replay right here. Weston Coelho, the speed demon for Chino Valley. Cougars, 35-30. You see him just get outside. Once he got outside right there, Matt, there was just nobody catching him. Is he's just he's unbelievable for uh, Mighty Mites League. He's got 22 touchdowns now in the season. Yeah, 37-yard TD run there by Cuelo, and right now it's 13 to 12. And so Cuelo on that nice 37-yard TD run. And he has a 77-yard uh, kickoff return for a touchdown, too. And this is all first quarter now, by the way. And showing there's team speed. Both teams doing well with that. So we have a penalty flag on the play. And so that uh, will go, the penalty will go against uh, Baghdad. And uh, they'll most likely assess that uh, on the kickoff. And so this... Uh, uh, conversion is going to be important because right now it's 13 to 12 in the favor of Baghdad over Chino Valley Cougars. And so they're still discussing things over with their head coach, Leon Taylor. And uh, now they'll snap it back there. And they'll oh, run, the run, run to the right. Felton. And Felton on the corner. He gets the extra point attempt. And so now they nod it up now at 13 uh, 13. So with 2.56 to go, first quarter. Our score in the Mighty Mice Championship game. It's Chino Valley 13, Baghdad 13 on Verde Valley TV. <laughs> Buena Vista Children's Services, advocating for children in the Verde Valley since 2001 through projects such as child care, preschool, discovery connection, child abuse prevention, parenting education, Cottonwood's annual children's celebration, early childhood education conference, and DES home recruitment. For more information, call us at 646-5200. Buena Vista, seeing a bright future in children. <laughs> this is Travis Reed from Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood. People off. the Kuelo and the Cone show so far in the first quarter. Baghdad's Cone. He has a couple of scores here. A 70-yard TD run, a 73-yard kick return for TD. Kuelo for Chino Valley. 77-yard kickoff return and a 37-yard touchdown run. And they both have had a conversion. 13-13 with 2.56 left to go in the first quarter. So a lot of scoring already. More so than the third-place game, which is more of a defensive battle. 
14 to 7. Kemp Verde Cody is a winner over the Cottonwood Marauders. Here comes the kick at the five yard penalty there on the conversion, pushes it back. So they have a nice kick, and it does not go to the end zone. And uh, picks up there about the three yard line. And so he's still going, Cone, at the 25 30. And he's finally dropped down at about the 42 yard line. I tell you what, Jake, that Cone, he can get outside. He gets that, he gets that speed going, doing a good job. Something and, else. And let's see on that replay, replay where you get a little bit of fumble issue there, but uh, it's getting a little cold, but he makes up for it there. He makes up for it with speed and agility right there, Matt, as you can't teach that. Kids has natural ability. He's shown it in this game. Thus far, there's already more points scored in this first quarter, Matt, than there was in the whole game of, the, of our last game. Yeah, and this uh, both teams, you know, they got, they got some good defenses. We'll still see them answer the call here. So the back dad Razorbacks in the uh, – Darker blue jerseys with the dark, I'd say it uh, looks, looks to be a lot black, uh, black uh, helmets and uh, numerals. And uh, so they're looking for Cone, the quarterback, will take it. And uh, he'll give it off to the left. And this is Owings. Owings up to about the uh, 42, maybe 43-yard line. Nope, they're going to mark all the way up to about the 48-yard line. So a pickup of eight, second down and two for Owings. Owings, a nice eight-yard pickup for him. Matt, I, thus far, I can't see any defenses stopping anybody the way this game's going right now. This is an offensive show in this first half. Yeah, so uh, they have. They've been able to do that. So Owings on a nice yard, eight-yard pickup there. And so Baghdad will have it second down and two. It's a 13-13 game late here in the first quarter. So Cohn looks over the defense. So the linebackers kind of crowded up a little bit, and they'll hand it off on the counter. And this will be up to about the 49 of Chino Valley where they'll be stopped. They'll stop Baghdad. So nice 20 uh, pick up there by 21 Gonzalez. Joseph Gonzalez, uh, pick up there. Uh, they're going to say about three on the play. So Gonzalez will pick up a three. But uh, let's see. Should be enough for first down it is. First down and 10 as they have the ball now at the uh, Chino Valley 49-yard line. And uh, according to the scouting report here, Baghdad gets great play from its offensive line, and it's shown it here in the first half. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's not just Cone, but you have Owings in there. And Armstrong also doing a good job running behind that offensive line and good blocking off the edge as well. And this time they'll hand it off there to number 17, and that's going to be Armstrong. And Armstrong gets up to about the 47-yard line of Chino Valley pickup of two for Armstrong. Second down and eight. Armstrong three carries for eight yards. Right now the leading rusher for the Mighty Mites of Baghdad, Razorbacks. It is Cone, the quarterback, seven carries for 69 yards. And I wouldn't be surprised, Jake, if we see now where they may uh, do cone here at this point here on uh, second down and long from the 47. It seemed to work pretty good. Right off the left edge, maybe. And when cone gets outside, Matt, there's no getting them. Yeah, it's hard to get them once you get out there. And so, and uh, 42 seconds uh, left to go in the first quarter. Right now, Baghdad has taken a timeout. So Baghdad has taken a timeout. And we will have a timeout on the field as well. With about 41 seconds left to go first quarter, our score, it is Baghdad leading Chino Valley. No, I'm sorry, it's tied. What am I saying? 13-13, Verde Valley Football, Mighty Mites Championship. Buena Vista Children's Services, advocating for children in the Verde Valley since 2001 through projects such as child care, preschool, discovery connection, child abuse prevention, parenting education, Cottonwood's annual children's celebration, early childhood education conference, and DES home recruitment. For more information, call us at 646-5200. Buena Vista, seeing a bright future in children. <laughs> at the 47 of Chino Valley because that was a quarterback keeper as I thought it would be by Cone just to his left. 
and gets nothing on that play. A nice defensive stop there. Chino Valley defense is probably thinking like I was. Ashton Lofton right there on the stop, Matt, got a big hit on the quarterback cone right there to hold him for a loss of yardage here. So this sets up a huge third and eight on this play. Well, even though they were able to make the stop there, he's still been pretty effective. So I'm sure it's not the last time they're going to try that. And this time they'll come around this side. They'll come the right side. This time will cone. And he's at the 40. He's 35. And he's still on his feet. 25, 20, 15, 10. And Cone makes it. And there's no penalty flags. And that coming right at the conclusion of the first quarter. A 47-yard TD run there by number 12, Cone. Puts up back down by the score of 19-13. you got to wonder right here, Matt, is Cone – does it again. Watch this run here. It's incredible. He gets around the corner. Once he gets around the corner, as you've seen in this game early on, and he eludes tackles right there, and he jukes guys, and he stays in bounds. He has the looseness of staying in bounds here, Matt, for a huge touchdown for Baghdad. you got to wonder if he's going to get tired from running all these yards here. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, kids can run and run and run, and this kid can. And so he now has 116 yards rushing just in the first quarter. That came at the conclusion of the first quarter, 19-13. Here's a little throw out in the flat, and that does not work. And so right now Baghdad has a 19-13 lead at the end of the first quarter. We'll come back with a second quarter of action. This is the Mighty Mice Championship game with Baghdad leading the Chino Valley 19-13 on Verde Valley TV. No other garage door opener opens your world like a LiftMaster. What other garage door opener alerts you if you forgot to close it? And gives you the ability to close it from anywhere, anytime with MyQ technology. Only a professionally installed LiftMaster. From long lasting LiftMaster openers to quality garage doors from CHI and Mid America Door, Northern Arizona Garage Doors is your local professional for installation and repair. Local service makes the difference. Find out more at nazgaragedoors.net. At Taylor & Sons Hauling, your garbage is our business. Taylor & Sons Hauling is a family-owned and operated business built on customer service. Taylor & Sons Hauling provides two to eight yard bins for weekly commercial service with recycling available. Or for construction projects, there's three to six yard bins or 15 to 40 yard roll-off. Taylor & Sons Hauling will beat any competitor's pricing with no annoying fuel surcharges for construction container. Call 649-8335 or visit taylorandsonshauling.com. And it is the Mighty Mites Championship game, and we have a great one going so far. We just get ready to start the second quarter, and Baghdad leads Chino Valley by the score 19 to 13. We'll talk about all how that's been happening here in just a little bit because the action's fierce, and we've had two kick returns for TDs. In fact, the last time that Baghdad had a T, uh, TD, it was met there certainly by Culeo of uh, Chino Valley. They're kicking away from him. It picked up there at about the 30-yard uh, line where he's kneeled down there, so he has to be down. The ball is at their own 34, Chino Valley. So here's how the scoring's went so far in this ball game. Cone for Baghdad got on the board. A seven-yard TD run, six to nothing, 436 to go there. And then is answered on a 77-yard kickoff return for DT by a Cuelo. And then uh, it was then met by a, uh, later on on a 73-yard kick return by Cone immediately after that 13-6. And then again a 37-yard uh, TD run by Cuelo for Chino Valley. Then a 47-yard TD run by Cone to conclude the first quarter. And that's where we have it, 19-13. Chino Valley has the ball, first down and 10 at their own 30-yard line. And Cone may set a record for the rushing record for a Mighty Mites game. She keeps it up. Boy, he could. This time it's going to be taken by number six, and that's Lofton. And Lofton, Cone makes a stop defensively down to about the 36-yard line of Chino Valley. Pick of a six, second down and four at their own 36. When we had a defensive matchup here, Matt, in this last game, you're seeing the offenses move the ball. Ashton Lofton broke two tackles right there initially on the play, Matt, to free him up for about – a gain of about six or seven yards on the play. So a great run by Lofton. Yeah, you're getting some good inside uh, push there by the offensive line for both teams who are doing a good job. And plus those players are uh, looking where they can get that open hole, and they're hitting that as well, so that shouldn't be forgotten. The ball is about the 38-yard line to Chino Valley. They have the ball, uh, Say they're going to say about uh, second down and about three yards to go from uh, their own 38-yard line. 
And it's going to be taken there by, I believe, Kimberly. And we have a penalty flag on the play. Yeah, Kimberly on the carry. And he got around on his tight end position, but it looked like he lost a couple yards on the play. Back to about uh, his 37-yard line, but there is a penalty flag on the play. Wow, that last play, Matt. Baghdad. Somebody got the lumber laid to him from Chino Valley, but I think it's going to be a block in the back, unfortunately, on Chino Valley because that, that was a nasty hit right there on Baghdad. It's a legal block in the back on Chino. That will back him up 10 yards on a big penalty. All right, that is uh, a penalty here against Chino Valley, and that will move him back from the spot of the football to where the uh, play occurred. So they'll march that back, and so it should put him out about the 27-yard uh, line. So... After that penalty of 10 yards, and that's the first penalty that we get here. Well, it's about the second penalty uh, that we have here in uh, this ball game. So, so now they'll move it back, and uh, let's see, yeah, to 27. You know what? It looks. I could be wrong, Jay, but it looks like we might get a little shimmer sunshine in here somewhere. It's a lot lighter looking. It's maybe a tad warmed up a bit. It's kind of nice too. So it'll bring up now um, second down, and they're going to say uh, about uh, 15. about 15 yards to go for first down. Another dive up the middle. After on 27. And let's see, he tries to get second effort, That's doesn't do it. Scrimmage. And this is Lofton. Lofton and Lofton may have got back to the line of scrimmage. So four carries, 22 yards there for Lofton for Chino Valley. So bring up third down now, 15 at their own 27. And I tell you what, Jake, quality of football here, mighty might action. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I, If we would have said this last year, Matt, we did not have two impressive games to start out the day last year. These these teams have come out to play, and especially this game offensively, both teams have dominated. But if Baghdad can get a stop here, maybe one stop in this game here or there could make a big difference in this game. Yeah, it could. Right now, again, the score, 19-13 in the favor of Baghdad, and they'll go ahead and come near sideline. And this is Weston at the 35-40. Weston Kahalo, and he's getting loose. 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. One's trying to run him from behind, but he's about seven yards and trailing further than that now. Touchdown. Kuelo on a nice big run from about 73 yards out. And we're going to see the highlights right here as Kaleo took it to the house once again. It's the Kaleo and the Cone Show today. If yeah. people are out there watching on Verde Valley TV, let's watch the Kaleo and Cone Show today. Here goes Kaleo around the left side. Look at his speed here, Matt, as he just he turns it up upfield here, and there was no stopping him after he got past the 50-yard line. So you're seeing a great offensive show here by both teams here in the early going, and we have a key extra point now. I want to start talking about extra yeah. points here, Matt, because they start getting important at this juncture of the game. Baghdad missed their extra point on their last possession here, so Chino gets their extra point. They'll be up by one. Yeah, so this would be big. And right now the score, 19-18 in favor of Baghdad with about 8.02 to go in the second quarter. And so we await the extra point attempt for Chino Valley Mighty Mites playing solid football both teams today, Baghdad and Chino Valley. This is going to be taken by the quarterback on a roll on in. A nice design play by Leon Taylor, the head coach. Nice run in by number 20, and that is Jaden Felton for Chino Valley. So right now we have this game. Uh, they're going to say it's uh, rolling up about 20 to 19. And uh, so they're able to get that one. So Chino Valley right now takes the lead, Jake, on that one. And uh, so we see now where Chino Valley had been down most of this game, but now they take a 20 to 19 lead thanks to that 73-yard TD run by Coelho and then a nice run in there by Felton. you got to wonder who our player of the game is going to be right now, Matt, because you got Coelho from – from uh, Chino Valley, Cougars running wild, and you got Cone from Baghdad running wild in this game. So we'll see what happens. Oh, I know how to solve that. We each get to pick one, and one <laughs> from each team. Where have you been from that last game, pal? I know, we got here early. We, we got here early. It's a little cold. But, uh, no, that's how we're going to solve that one. How's that sound? But so, you never know. There's a lot of game left. Could be somebody there else. There is a lot of game left. But looking at the, the way the outcome's going in this game, Cone and I think between the two of them, they have almost 300 yards already of total offense between the two of them oh, if you yeah. want to count kickoff returns. Yeah, 100 yards rushing from Kuelo. Uh, two carries, two Jake, and both touchdowns, 37 and 73 yards. And for uh, Cone, for Baghdad, how about nine carries, 116 yards, and a 47-yard TD? And then also, your mentions uh, Kuelo and Cone show. 
each has kick returns for TDs. So now we've got Cone back. So you've got to wonder when they're going to stop kicking the Cone. I just think it's a matter of, I think, the coaching staff for Chino Valley, which is uh, led by uh, Coach Taylor. He needs to make some adjustments according to the way Cone's been running back kicks. Yeah. Yeah, you want, you want to try to figure out defensively, to me, is the adjustments of what you do, especially on special teams. And uh, here comes the kick taken there about the 28-yard uh, line down to about the 34-yard line. Weston Coelho in on the stop. So a nice uh, stop there for Chino Valley on special teams. They're trying to, again, uh, come up with their uh, second uh, in their uh, third straight, rather, championship. Should I say this is a big series, believe it or not, because the way that they're they're exchanging scores, so maybe the first team to get a stop and then get maybe a score or two ahead could be key in this game. Yeah, that could be, man. So right now, first down and 10 at their own 33 for Baghdad uh, Razorbacks. And each team has pretty much scored when they have the football. And, well, it's about almost time they touch the football. They can go. So both teams playing hard. 20-19 to 19 right now in the favor of Chino Valley over the Baghdad Razorbacks. Excuse me. And the Razorbacks have it first down and 10 at their own 33-yard line. And uh, they'll go ahead and snap it, taken, handoff, first down. And a uh, nice carry there by Cohn. Cohn gets up to about, uh, oh, they'll say about the 43-yard line, Jake. And that's going to be enough for first down. It's first actually down unusual that they tackle him in the field of play because here's Cohn here on the quarterback keeper. He lost about three initially, and then he got upfield. Got a first down right there. Is I think there's only been one play where Cones carried the ball that they've kept him from not getting a first down. So he's averaging over easily, probably averaging about 15 yards a carry. Yeah, he's averaging right now about uh, uh, about 11 and a half yards a carry. So yeah, good uh, good memory, Jake. First down and 10 at their own 43 for Baghdad Razorbacks, and Cone has 126 yards on the ground, and he has three touchdowns. He'll keep it again. He's under some pressure. He'll run near the line. Tripped up 40. Uh, yard line stop. Nice stop there by number two, Joseph Nisley. Yeah, it looks like Cone didn't get out of there right away on the initial play there, Matt, as he stumbled a little bit. Here's a replay here. Looks like Cone got the snap under center here, Matt, and he sort of, yeah, he tripped over his own man right there. And uh, Chino made a nice tackle. One-on-one -on -one tackle right there, Matt, by uh, Number two for Chino, do you uh, believe Joseph Neasley. Neasley did Neasley. a good job. D do you believe in jinxes? Because we just talked about how he's not been dropped for loss of yards, and look what happens. You well, know? Maybe I won't talk no more because – No, we want you to something. talk. We when got I, five games total today, pal. <laughs> when we I say something, good. it, it does go for a loss, but right there, no. that was great defense no, by Chino. You did good, buddy. <laughs> ball is at the 40-yard line. Baghdad has the ball on second down. Cone will just keep it himself. He'll roll to the right, and this time pursuit from behind, and he's drunk down at about the 47-yard line of Baghdad. So pick up uh, the seven on the play, third down and six, and right now they're going to their money, man, to Cone, but also that defense, good pursuit there by Chino Valley. Chino's starting to get their defense together right Matt, right now, and it's the team that gets their defense right in this game, I think, is going to be the team that ends up ultimately winning this game because right now you're starting to see the Chino Valley defense exploit the Baghdad offense at the moment. Yeah, a little bit. Third down and six now from the 47-yard line. They talked about the Chino Valley coach, uh, Leon Taylor, said got contained the ends, and this time they get a good push up to the middle and nice penetration there by number 14, Caden Wagner. He drops down Cone all the way back at about his own 40-yard line. So a loss of seven on the play. So to bring up fourth down and 13, big defensive stop for Chino Valley. It is a huge stop, Matt. And we just seen our first turnover in the whole day, actually, on that play right there as Chino Valley got in pursuit right there, and Kaleo picked up the fumble for Chino Valley. Yeah, so Coelho's coming up big defensively as well. So after that first turnover of the ball game, First down and 10 for Chino Valley. They'll have the ball at their own, uh, th I'm sorry, at the 39-yard line uh, of Baghdad. So here Chino Valley comes out. They've been depending on Coelho. Two carries for 100 yards. 
And this time they'll go ahead and take it pretty much right up to the middle, about the 38-yard line of uh, Baghdad. And that was a carry there by Felton on the carry, so a couple yards. So second down now and eight, or maybe second down and nine from no gain, actually. So second down and ten from the 39 of uh, Baghdad. It looks like James O'Neill from Chino Valley got popped in the lip right there, Matt, and he's going to probably have to come out. I hope he's okay. Yeah, come I hope he there. is. Yeah, that's right. So Chino Valley, again, will break out of the huddle, and uh, they have two receivers split out to the left, and uh, they have right off the flank is Lofton, and the quarterback uh, handing it off, a double reverse, and this is Coelho coming. Near sideline, 35, 30, if he can get past one. Oh, nice push out there. Nice cone defense. Kept him from going all the way to the house. Ball down to the, about the 25-yard line. Let's pick up a 14. There's a replay right here of Calejo once again. Around the side. Got a key block right there from number eight for Chino Valley, which is uh, Kimberly. Kimberly. And it springed him outside. But what a play here by Cone, as you see here on the tackle, Matt. He, he got him out of bounds initially, or he just scored a touchdown. Yeah, that was a really, really good uh, defensive play there for sure. It's really a uh, big, big play. Big play. And so right now it is going to be first down and 10 from the 25. Uh, Baghdad. This is Lofton. Lofton misses one tackler. 15. Oh, steps through another one. Keeps going. Five touchdown. What a play by Lofton. Back coming with 4.30 to go. Second quarter, 26-19 in the favor right now of Chino Valley. And it looks like Chino Valley starting to really assert themselves here, Matt, in this game over Baghdad with their size. And here's a replay here. Yeah, impressive here's running Lofton. there by Lofton. As he, again, he broke through some tacklers. We thought he might be stopped a couple of times, but he kept on moving and did a good job just keep those knees churning. He just runs through people right there, Matt, and just flat out, he buried two of the Baghdad players on the ground. So it looks like Chino's got more power to their running game than Baghdad does, and uh, they're asserting themselves right now. They're, they could possibly wear out Baghdad's defense as the game goes along with that power running. Well, I think you'll see Baghdad still. They, they're pretty well-conditioned ball club. Huh? I still think you'll see make a push here. So this time Lofton trying to go up to the middle, but doesn't do it. So that doesn't work, so that fails. So, again, it's just a seven-point game. Chino Valley leads 26-19. to 19 over Baghdad, 4.30 to go second quarter. It is the Mighty Mice Championship game of Ready Valley TV. This is Travis Reed from Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood. People often refer to us as the people place. Let me assure you, whether it's our involvement in the community or with our customers that visit, we make it a priority to keep that reputation. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, you'll find our selection extensive and our sales team professional and courteous. Visit Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood, two dealerships in one convenient location just off Highway 260 next to Walmart in Cottonwood. From all of us at Larry Green Chevrolet, Hyundai of Cottonwood, and the Green Auto Group, we're in Well, Jaden Feldens doing a pretty solid job, too, making a, a contribution quarterback, handed off there to Lofton. Lofton getting through there on a 25-yard TD run. So uh, we see where it's working well so far. Ashton Butterfly Lofton. And he's uh, working well as he gets outside and gets that score. So right now, Baghdad will get their opportunity with the ball. They trail right now by the score of 26-19. to 19 With about 426 left in the second quarter. So Baghdad will have the football. First down and 10 now. They'll have it at their own 45-yard line. As we get a look at our Burley referees right here, Matt, they're doing a great job. Yeah, they are. In this game and uh, well-called game by the refs. Early on, it looks like to be a uh, full start on Baghdad, which will make the kickoff at the 45-yard right. line. So they will be kicking off there after that five-yard penalty against Baghdad. Two penalties, 10 yards for them, and a penalty for Chino Valley. In fact, that uh, turnover turned into a TD uh, by Baghdad. They fumbled it, and then Chino Valley eventually scores. And so right now it's, uh, well, somebody besides uh, Cone and Coelho score touchdown. Uh, Lofton has one here, a 25-yard TD run. Other than that, it was just Cone and Coelho. Cone for Baghdad, Coelho for Chino Valley. And this has got to be 
even from last year, remember, Matt, this has got to be one of the more higher scoring games that we've we have called. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, second of five games on championship day. This is for the Mighty Mice championship game. Chino Valley is the two-time defending champion, trying to make it three in a row against this Baghdad squad who uh, sees uh, resurrection of the football all the way in Baghdad from the youth football way up to high school. And they pick it up around about their 23-yard line and knocked out of bounds at about the 41-yard line, their own 41 for Baghdad. And uh, so uh, nice one there. Armstrong on the kickoff return. Looks to be a real strong yep. kid too, man. He, he got around that corner, lowered the boom on the Chino Valley defender right there as Baghdad will start great field position here at the 41-yard line, and we'll see if they can't mount a drive here before halftime, which would be huge. Yeah, now it is a not, it's not running right now, which helps dry out a little bit because got Tad Breeze helps there too, so a little bit better footing. But just to imagine if this game would have been going on with the rain. We've had a few, the last few days on the old field they had here at uh, Mingus with just the dirt grass. That would have been something else. But uh, right now, first down and 10 at their own 41 for Baghdad. Let's see if they go with something besides cone because Cougars stop that, and they do. They try to hand it off to the middle, and this time it's going to be uh, taken by number 26, Owings. And Owings might have got back to the line of scrimmage, so nothing on that one. So to bring up now second down and 10 at their own 41-yard line, and uh, we've, we have an injured player down on the field for Baghdad, so we hope he's going to be all right. Well, And it's number 26, uh, Owings. Okay, Owings, the running back there uh, down on that play. And so for the Baghdad Razorbacks, and uh, Owings, uh, he has the ability uh, to run hard, and uh, he, he's a force offensively. And uh, he does a good job of blocking. So he's getting cone loose on a lot of those plays. And right there, he uh, shaking up a bit. We have a real bit of a roughing penalty, which is going to be 15 yards okay. from the end of the play. All right. Uh, personal foul. So it'll be first down Baghdad at the 46-yard line. All right, 15-yard penalty there against Chino Valley. Their second penalty for 20 yards. They'll have the ball at the 46-yard uh, line now of Chino Valley. Chino Valley still in that defensive huddle. Uh, they'll go ahead and run the play. Why not? You have to be at the line of scrimmage. That's the quarterback, Cohn. And he gets up to about the 43-yard line. Yeah, they need to get out of that huddle quick on defense because offense is ready. you got to go. Second down and seven after the three-yard quick run there by Cohn. He has 126 yards now and 14 carries. And among those, he has a couple of TDs from the line of scrimmage of seven and 47 yards and a couple of kick returns. For scores 342 left to go second quarter 26 19 in the favor of Chino Valley over Baghdad Baghdad uh, has led in this game 6 nothing 13 6 19 13 but it's been a couple of straight scores here for Chino Valley in the second quarter they have this lead now 26 to 19 so second down and seven from the 43 of Chino Valley Cone looks over the defense and we get a penalty flag Flags all over the field. That's going to be a false start on the Razorbacks. Right there on that play, right? Uh, Cone initially on that play, Matt, I think he pulled out of the snap early, and that was the cause for that penalty right there. So Baghdad makes a middle mistake here in the second quarter. Let's see if it cost him on this down. We'll see. It moves it back five yards. Second down and 12 now from uh, the 48 yard line of Chino Valley. Second down, 12 from the 48. And it is Cone under center. And Cone. This is Cone. Carry. Pegues. William Pegues in on the stop. Helps along with that. Also a nice stop in there for number 20 for Chino Valley. And that is Jaden Felton. So the ball at the 45-yard line of Chino Valley, so pick up a three, third down, now nine. Looks like Chino Valley's defense, Matt, is starting to slow down Cone in this game. Uh, they made some very crucial stops here on this series of downs. And they have. The officials want to want to talk something over here a little bit. Felton comes on out of the game, get a little rest there. He got banged up just a bit, but he's under his own power. Seems like he'll be fine. And uh, so... Uh, Right now, both teams doing a pretty good job of getting players in and out of the game. It's something else you like to see. Now, it is the championship game, but still good to see uh, everybody with an opportunity to get some playing time. 
So right now the ball at the 45-yard line of Chino Valley. Third down and nine for Baghdad. About two minutes and five seconds left to go before we hit halftime. And here's a snap. Uh, looking for pass. Cone looking. It's caught by Owens. First down at about the 33-yard line. So they sneak one in. First down and 10 at the 33 of the Chino Valley. Nice little 12-yard pass. And now we have a passing stat, Matt, because here's Cone back to throw. He's looking. Throws it over the top of a defender right there and over another one and completes it to Owings right there. What a nice throw that was. Yeah, good job by the offensive line as well, giving them just enough time to get that ball off. And you don't see that too much in Mighty Might football. You don't. Championship game right now between Chino Valley and Baghdad. They just keep battling back and forth up and down the field. 140 left to go here in the second quarter. 26 to 19 in the favor of Chino Valley over Baghdad. And this time this will be taken there by Cone. Cone gets down to about the 23 yard line. So pick up there of about, uh, we'll say about, they're going to mark it about eight yards on the play. So it'll bring up second down now and two at the Chino Valley 24-yard line. So nice eight-yard pickup there by Cone. And uh, let's see, we have about one minute, 13 seconds left to go. They still have a little time for a timeout, so we're going to keep it right here. And uh, so it's important, Jake, to get that timeout because you don't want to really rush up and, uh, you know, get a penalty or somehow turn the ball over. Yeah, this is really key right now, Matt, for Baghdad to keep the ball in their possession, run down the clock, score a touchdown here because you saw what happened at the end of the half. Uh, Camp Verde was unable to get a touchdown before the half in our last game, the Camp Verde Coyotes, but it didn't cost them. They ended up winning the game. But this is a kind of game where it could cost Baghdad if they don't get this touchdown before halftime. Yeah, you see here that that clock management really important uh, for the coaches here for the Baghdad Razorbacks. So they break out of the huddle, second down and two. The ball at the Chino Valley 24 with about a minute 13 uh, left to go in the second quarter with Chino Valley leading 26-19 over Baghdad in this championship game. It's going to be taken there by Cone. Cone misses one tackler. Can he miss a second one? He does. Can he do a third? No, can't do it. And the ball down to about the 25, uh, maybe 26-yard line. So a loss of two, actually, but he's good that he didn't lose more than that. Yeah, he bounced off two tacklers there on initial play. He got popped by two Chino Valley players right there, and he stayed on his feet, Matt. So Cone's also showing that he has strength, too, along with his agility ability. He is. He has 17 carries for 135 yards, and he also has a 73-yard kickoff return, uh, does Cone for Baghdad Razorbacks. Uh, the ball at the 26-yard line of Chino Valley with about 58 seconds left to go here in the uh, second quarter right here before we uh, hit halftime. Chino Valley Cougars against the Baghdad Razorbacks. And the quarterback is Cone. He's under center, looks over his defense. You got three uh, linemen this time taken by Cone. Cone tries to step up inside. He'll be dropped back to the 27 yard line. So a loss there of about a yard on the play. So bring up fourth down and five now. They keep going to Cone here. And Chino Valley starting to figure that out. Yeah, it looks like Baghdad's going to have to run more than just Cone right here, Matt, because every time they have ran Cone in this series, Chino Valley has had an answer on defense. So 30 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Big series here for Baghdad, 26 to 19. Could we possibly see a pass again? It worked uh, before for first down prior to that. You have them load up on the right-hand side, so you do have three receivers split out to the right. Cone is the quarterback. Cone will roll, 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 looking for his block, steps up inside. 25, eludes a tackler. He stretches for the first down line. They say the clock keeps going down to about the 22-yard line. Enough for a first down, first down and 10, down to the 22. Nice run, nice call as they spread out the defense with the trips. What a run by there by Cone, Matt. He's, he's just amazing. Here's a replay here for Cone. Goes well, around the right side. He jukes uh, number 22 for Chino Valley, which is uh, Holmes on that play. And if he wouldn't have got past Holmes, he wouldn't have got that first down. So great play by eight, Cone. Eight seconds to go, second quarter. First down and 10 from the 22 of Chino Valley. Looking to pass. He throws. He'll be tipped away. Incomplete as we come to the end uh, of the first half. And wow, what a first half of action we have. 
Chino Valley leading Baghdad by the score of 26 to 19. And this is for the Mighty Might Championship game. We'll come back to talk more about it when we hit halftime on Verde Valley TV. It's NAYF Championship Mighty Mites. Break in. Buena Vista Children's Services, advocating for children in the Verde Valley since 2001 through projects such as child care, preschool, discovery connection, child abuse prevention, parenting education, Cottonwood's annual children's celebration, early childhood education conference, and DES home recruitment. For more information, call us at 646-5200. Buena Vista, seeing a bright future in children. <laughs> Superior Propane is a fourth-generation family-owned business serving Northern Arizona residents for over a decade. Superior Propane can help with any and all propane products. From residential tanks to propane-powered vehicles and installation to regular delivery. Superior Propane is a proud sponsor of the Northern Arizona youth football teams from Williams and would like to congratulate them on another great season. Superior Propane is Northern Arizona's premier propane company. Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros give you more miles for your money. Locally owned and grown, Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros will beat any competitor. Bring your best deal and they'll beat it on price, total service, tire quality, and arguably the best nationwide warranty. For 24 months or 24,000 miles and available at 30,000 locations coast to coast. Get more miles for your money every day from your hometown team, Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros. At Ponderosa Electric, we put serve back into the meaning of service. For over 15 years, Ponderosa Electric has been providing quality service to the Quad City areas. From new construction, remodeling, and generators to simply replacing an outlet, there's no job too big or small. Our skilled, uniformed, and professional techs will set your mind at ease about the job we're performing and who you're letting into your home. For dependable, on-time service, from the time we enter to the time we leave, call Ponderosa Electric for all your electrical needs. A proud member of the YCCA. Would you rather recycle like this or like this? Clean Recycling processes over 95% of the materials collected as opposed to under 20% with other processes. Just add a recycling container and your recycling materials end up recycled instead of in the landfill. Just one of the many reasons Taylor Waste has been voted number one for the past eight years in a row. Hi, I'm Chris Taylor, owner of Taylor Waste. We're proud to serve our friends and neighbors with service tailored to your needs. It's the Mighty Mike's Championship. And uh, these two teams, they are playing mighty, no doubt about it. 26 to 19 in the favor of the Chino Valley Cougars. Over the team from Baghdad, the Razorbacks. Let's go ahead and talk about some of how this scoring went. Let's first of all look in the first quarter. A seven-yard TD run by Cone of Baghdad. Put them up by the score of 6-0, Jake. Nice run by Cone. Make somebody miss. Yeah, Cone's been making people miss all along in the first half. Then he breaks the tackle to get in the end zone right there for their first score. That comes with 4.36 to go first quarter, 6-0 Baghdad. But I tell you what, an answer Chino Valley had. Now they're the two-time defending champion. This in the first quarter, right after that, it was a 77-yard kickoff return from Kualo making it 6-6, six, six, and we've seen this happen, a little bit of bad field conditions, a little loose ball, but Kualo comes up big. Yeah, he does right there, Matt. He gets around the left side, cuts inside right there. Then once he got outside, it was over. Kaleo yeah. just uses speed. He does. He finds the hole. That makes it 6-6. Six, six. Both teams fell on the PAT. Well, we go right back to it, and this time, this is back-to-back -back kickoff returns for touchdowns. I'd be honest with you, I haven't seen that in a long time, whether you're talking about high school or whatever. First quarter, 4-12 to go. This is Cone, a 73-yard kickoff return to put Baghdad up by the score of 13-6. And here's what's remarkable about the play. He dropped the ball initially when it was kicked off. Then he, once he got around the corner, there was no catch in Cone. Yeah, and so he rips that one off, 13-6. Again, having some problems with PAT here so far in this game. But coming back just shortly after that, so this coming in the first quarter, this coming now for Chino Valley, uh, they score on a 37-yard TD run by guess who? Kualo. 
This come with 2.56 to go first quarter, making it 13-13. Gets a nice block and hits the edge. Now, let's look at this run by Kaleo right here. He just he gets outside. Once the kid gets outside, you can't catch him, Matt. He's, he's had over 20 touchdowns this season. Yeah, he's been strong, no question about it. Now, let's go now to the second quarter, 8.02 to go. It was then from there a nice run here uh, for Chino Valley on a 73-yard TD run by Coelho. Well, we're going to go back to it, and this is Baghdad. Uh, Baghdad ties it up, uh, this time coming on a run by Cone. They go up 19-13. I'm sorry, 47-yard TD run by Cone. They go up 19-13. This comes right at the end of the first quarter. And he broke two tackles right there, Matt, which was more impressive on the play. Cone's a very strong kid as well. Well, it looked like Baghdad, uh, Jake, had uh, the momentum going. It looked like if they could just sort of keep Coelho from the kick returns, they would have it. But now from the line of scrimmage, we see in the second quarter where uh, Chino Valley starts to come up big. Let's go to this one. A 73-yard TD run by Coelho in the second quarter, 8.02 to go. Oh, nice block there by his running back. Yeah, very good block right there. He doesn't get that touchdown run right there. He gets outside again, and then once he's outside, it's over. He just – Burns everybody down the field. Nobody is within 10 yards of him. And right there we see where he had maybe one player to hit the angle, but somebody must have got his attention back. I don't know if somebody was talking to him, maybe calling out to him, and he looked away, but I don't think it would have made a lot of difference there. Made it 20-19, to 19, and then uh, here in the four, second quarter, rather, 4.30 to go. It's Chino Valley again. This time it will be a 25-yard TD run by Lofton to give us where we are at halftime, 26-19 to 19 on a nice call here. Nice execution there on uh, the quarterback, Lofton, who gets outside. Uh, this is the best run of the game. Boom, right there. He breaks a tackle. Breaks another one right Second. there. And that was more impressive because he had him about down there around the waist. Very impressive run by Lofton. Best run of the game thus far. Real strong, running hard. 26-19 is our score. It's the Mighty Might Championship game here between Chino Valley Cougars and uh, the Baghdad Razorbacks. Well, we'll come back with the individual stats right after this. Verde Valley TV, it's an AYF Championship Day. team is here to help you get the most out of each workout here at the Cottonwood Recreation Center. This is Travis Reed from Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood. People often refer to us as the people place. Let me assure you, whether it's our involvement in the community or with our customers at visit, we make it a priority to keep that reputation. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, you'll find our selection extensive and our sales team professional and courteous. Visit Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood, two dealerships in one convenient location just off Highway 260 next to Walmart in Cottonwood. From all of us at Larry Green Chevrolet Hyundai of Cottonwood and the Green Auto Group, we're in there. All Price Insurance on Main Street in Cottonwood is your local insurance provider for personal and commercial insurance. Call and compare 23 insurance companies for home, health, auto, RV, motorcycle, boat, or ATV. Specialty insurance and insurance bonds are no problem at All Price Insurance. Call or visit All Price Insurance today. Got a long trip coming up? Grab your book and relax while their driver does all the work. Call CK's Need a Lift. CK's Need a Lift, serving Prescott and the Verde Valley for over 10 years. CK's Need a Lift, a reliable, clean, non-smoking method of transportation. Perfect for when you want to get from place to place, go to that special event, or even airport transportation. And they have room for up to 11 passengers in their club van. Rely on CK's Need a Lift, 928-301-1982. the Mighty Mites Championship game as Chino Valley leads as we start the third quarter over the Baghdad Razorbacks 26-19. I'm Matt Showalter along with Jake Clement and we have a tremendous game here 
back and forth the stat leaders uh, for the Mighty Mites of Chino Valley. It's Cuelo, number three, three carries for 114 yards. Lofton has five carries, 47 yards, and including a 25-yard TD. And then also for Baghdad Razorbacks, it is Cohn. He has 19 carries, 141 yards, and three touchdowns. Cuelo also has three touchdowns in this game. So we've seen special team returns. We've seen three of those. And we've also seen uh, controlling the line of scrimmage of that offensive line of Chino Valley. So, again, been tremendous here in the game. And looks to be a penalty against Chino Valley for uh, offsides on the kickoff. So Baghdad will be kicking from the 45-yard line. Third penalty for 25 yards for Chino Valley. I'll tell you another thing I'm impressed is uh, not a lot of penalties. Shane Cooper to re-kick. And so they'll kick it down there. Coelho gets it now. It comes near sideline. Runs, gets an angle. 25-31 to miss, perhaps. He's up to the 40-yard line. And what? Will he get past one? Nope. They get a couple of guys around his waist. Bring him down at about the 47-yard line for Chino Valley. We'll bring up first down and 10 at their own 47-yard line. You notice about Coelho and Lofton for Chino Valley is they're very strong runners, Matt. They're not they're big for their age. They're really big kids. They've been playing for two or three years for Chino Valley, so they've had experience. They've got a lot of strength, too. It looks like they they might, who knows, they might even be lifting small weights already. <laughs> well, they, they, they certainly uh, run it strong, and uh, they've also been doing a pretty good job. Again, uh, we talked about that offensive line's been really good. You've seen a couple improved players, Mike Taylor in there, Kai Holmes, uh, d doing a tremendous job for Chino Valley Cougars. And uh, so it's going to be now first down and 10. The ball will be at, uh, they're going to mark about the 46-yard line of Chino Valley. And this time the ball is taken there by number 14. And that's going to be Wagner, Caden Wagner on the carry, up to about the 49-yard line. Nice gain right there by Wagner. Um, great run on that initial play right there. He. That was all him right there, Matt. Not a lot of blocking on the offensive line there. He he got hit initially. He got two or three yards on his own. So to bring up second down and seven, the ball at the 49 at Chino Valley. The Cougars start off this second half of action, leading by the score of 26 to 19. Felton is the quarterback. He's got a couple receivers split out here to the left. He got a back behind him there. And it's going to get beat number 14 Wagner and give him a yard on the play so third down and six up to midfield and so they're giving Wagner a little bit of an opportunity here two carries and four yards so uh, we see again both teams utilizing their uh, roster pretty well here on a getting colder and colder afternoon here in Cottonwood with the overcast but uh, no brain at this point and uh, so this field's been a little sloshy when we saw those replays. We saw where they were kicking up a lot of water there, but they've been able to maintain good control in these fields are wonderful. It looks like they might use Calejo here on this third down play, Matt, as he's lined up in the backfield. Yeah, we haven't really seen him touch the ball from the line of scrimmage the last uh, few plays from the second quarter and then here in the third quarter. So third down and six from midfield for the Chino Valley Cougars. And you're right, Jake, here comes Coelho. Coelho gets his block from Lofton and he'll get loose to the 45, 40. Got to stay in bounds. One to beat, 20, 15, 10, five. Touchdown, Coelho, and no penalty flags. That coming 50-yard TD run there by Coelho. His fourth touchdown of the game. That's one of the better touchdown runs you'll see anywhere, Matt. He broke initial tackle right there. There was two or three Baghdad defenders there, and he just juked them, went outside, had the presence of mind to stay in bounds there on that touchdown, Matt. So a big score here by Chinos. Now they're up. By, I said I talked about the two-score game here yeah. in this kind of game. Now Baghdad can still come back. Now it's going to be much harder now with being a two-score game. And that was just a great line by Kaleo right there. He's tiptoeing. Stepped on out in bounds and keeping his feet in. Yeah, 50 yard TD run there by Kuelo for Chino Valley. His fourth touchdown of the game. He has uh, uh, on the day 164 yards rushing, four touchdowns. And this time they'll run it around the edge there. And Kimberly gets on in uh, for the score. No, that looks to be number two, Joseph Nisley, gets in on the two point conversion. So they pick up that, makes the score now 33-19. The 
in the favor of Chino Valley Cougars who are looking for their third straight Mighty Might Championship, Jake, and they're well on their way. Yes, they are, Matt. And this is what champions do. They won it the last two years. Now let's see if Baghdad can respond. They haven't been in this game in a while. So if they can respond and get a touchdown, they'll be right back in this game. Well, we talked a little bit about them maybe finding a different option other than Cone, but I don't know if really if that's the case. I think what they need to do is maybe come up a little bit of a different blocking, a uh, certain play they can find for him because he's clearly your key player there. Yeah, you want to get Cone out in space. I think I think here the key thing for Baghdad is – Want a good possession drive here. They want. They need to get some points here, Matt, because if they give the ball back to Chino, Baghdad really hasn't shown it's been able to stop Chino at all in this game. And so now it'll be the opportunity for Baghdad to try to get back in this thing. Right now, 33 to 19 in the favor of Chino Valley. And so it'll be a little uh, pick up at about the 20-yard line. That's Cone picking it up. Cone trying to find the outside. Cone at the 40. Cone keeps going, 45. Cone is dragging somebody around, is around his waist, and finally he's dragging out about, about uh, let's say, about the 49-yard line. Uh, Baghdad's a nice return. What a run by Cone here. Here's the replay here. Ball is rolling around. Cone goes to 30 here, breaks a tackle, gets outside right here. He shows his power right here. If you see here, he breaks, boom, right there. He stays on his feet, and he gets about two extra yards right there. So what a great return for Baghdad, and they need some momentum back in this game as Cohn provided it for him on that return. Yeah, they'll probably be trying to go a little bit up the middle now with Isaac Morris, that center for them. Pretty good size and strength, one of the best in the league. We might see them run behind him up the middle here in this ball game. First down and 10 for the Baghdad Razorbacks. They're certainly still in it. They trail by the score of 33-19. to and let's see, we get a timeout by the Chino Valley Cougars. And we'll go ahead and keep it here. We'll run for you the uh, entire statistics for the Mighty Might Championship game here so far. Baghdad Razorbacks, 19 carries, 141 yards for Cone. And he has three touchdowns in the game. He also has a pass completion of 12 yards to Owings, who has also two carries for eight yards. Gonzalez, one carry for three yards. Armstrong, three carries, eight yards. And Hooper, one carry minus four yards. And for the Chino Valley Cougars, Coelho, four carries, 164 yards. He has four touchdowns today. Five carries, 47 yards for Lofton. Kimberly, minus one yard. Wagner, two carries, four yards. And this time, getting loose there. As Armstrong fumbles the football at midfield. And he got down to about the 47. Will they say who comes up with it? And they'll say, yes, fumble on the play. And so for Baghdad, this is their second fumble of the game. And uh, so after that nice little three-yard pickup there for Armstrong, uh, they fumble the ball. He got hit hard here, Matt. Watch his hit here. Boom. That's the way they hit right here. Helmet to ball. Collision right there. And Chino, Big play. Yeah, and Chino Valley, one of the quickest hearted hitting teams that you got there. So they now will have the ball first down and 10 at the 50 yard line. Will the Cougars? And there is 7.40 left to go, third quarter, and they lead Baghdad by the score of 33 19. A handoff, real big smash right up to the middle. That's number 14, Wagner. And Wagner gets up to about the 45 yard line. Of uh, Baghdad pick up a five, second down now and five for Chino Valley. So three carries now, nine yards for Wagner. And also, I want to mention Loth. Loth not only had that nice run before in the first half, he was the one that hit the guy in, in the stomach right there to jar the ball loose on that last play. Yeah, been getting good defense from him. Felton, the quarterback, looking there into his backfield. He has Loft and Ralph to his right, and they'll hand it off to him. They fake handoff on the round, but it doesn't oh. seem to work. But he gets by two tacklers. He's at the 40-yard line. It's over a third on Cohen. Finally stops him. Uh, about the 37-yard line of uh, Baghdad. Pick up eight, first down at 10. That's a pure, watch this. This is just pure power right here, Matt. It goes around the left side. Boom. Right there, initial hit. Drags that guy down. He's Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm telling you. He Amazing. Just, he is. He's, just, he's rolling over them. Well, I think we got a penalty flag. Yep, holding Ooh. the ball back to about the 44-yard line. So a penalty flag there, and they're going to march off about 10 yards. It'll give them the positive yardage uh, on the uh, play there. 
Uh, but they'll march it back. Uh, nope, they'll march it back to the 46-yard line of uh, Chino Valley. And so that's still, uh, they'll give a 15-yard penalty. Uh, so that's uh, now 30 yards in penalties for Chino Valley. Get this, Baghdad doesn't have a penalty yet, Jake. Very well-disciplined team. Very impressed with Baghdad. So they're going to mark it second down at about 15. Coelho has it. He's at midfield. He's down to about the 46-yard line of Baghdad. Believe it or not, that is actually Calejo's least amount of run today. He's usually either running them in for touchdowns or he's gaining 30 or 40 yards on the play. So Baghdad actually did a nice job initially right there stopping Calejo. So they'll bring up now. They'll mark it about third down and five yards to go from the 46-yard line of Baghdad, the Mighty Mites Championship game. 6.06 to go third quarter with uh, Chino Valley up 33-19, looking to make it three in a row, Monty Might Championships. And we have some sunshine peeking through these clouds. And this now will be a handoff Lofton, Lofton fake give, and he'll come around to the edge. And he's at the 45 of Baghdad, cuts to the 40, cuts again. And he's uh, still funny for yardage down to about the 33. So Lofton pick up of 13 on the play. And so he has seven carries for 68 yards and a nice rush there. I got to tell you, if Chuck Apap's looking on right now for his future program, Lofton could be in his future plans the way he's running the football. Yeah, that mighty Mike get that thing churning right there. He slips right through. And, uh, again, nice try to the tackle there. And he almost kind of broke through, but it took about three to get him down. So he's one of the more powerful mighty Mike runners, Matt, that I've seen. And when we've done this – tournament for two years now and he's one of the more powerful running backs I've seen in this tournament. Yeah, they're, they're getting a really good blocking up front from that offensive line doing an outstanding job. Got two receivers right here to the right. You got one lone in the back there and this is going to be the big kid. That's going to be Kimberly. And Kimberly uh, maybe to about the 28 yard line. So wow, powerful run there. A pick up there of about five yards on the play. Second down and five as again he runs behind a good uh, position there up the middle of the center, Isaac Morris. And it looks like what they're trying to do is they're going to the power game with uh, with Kimberly and uh, Lofton right now because they got a two-touchdown lead, Matt, and what you want to do is you want to salt away time when you have the lead. Kimberly on a nice carry on that one. So here's Kimberly again. Kimberly this time goes over to the left and brought down to about the 23, make it 24-yard line of Baghdad. So pick up a four, third down and one, so be a little bit short. And another thing, keeps getting uh, players uh, into the game, touching the football. Why not? Spread around. Matt, this is the first time I think I've seen sunshine in three days. As we're <laughs> I think get, that's right. We're getting a peak of uh, – so hopefully maybe some nice weather this afternoon. Yeah, it could. It uh, looks like it is maybe starting to clear just slightly so. And uh, so second, third down, and uh, make it about one and a half yards from the 24-yard line of Baghdad with about 3.58 to go third quarter. Chino Valley leading by the score of 33-219 over the Baghdad Razorbacks. Both teams have teams further on in this tournament today. This time, Henoff Coelho tries to turn a corner 20, 15, 10. Can he get past that one tackle? No, drug down at about the five-yard line. And uh, that's a nice stop down there uh, by Baghdad. Uh, number 12, Cone, in on the stop. And he's made some nice defensive stops today. He is Baghdad's team. He's, he's made great tackles on Baghdad, on Chino Valley Cougars, and he has made some great runs this game at his – he has put his heart and soul into this game for Baghdad. 194 yards and six carries for Coelho. How about that? First and goal from the five. Lofton in the backfield. A little bit of an eye action there. Coelho back there, too. This is Felton will take it. He'll roll behind two blocks. Gets one a little bit there. Ooh, nice one by Felton. Lofton just knocks somebody out of the way. Felton gets down to about the two-yard line. So nice block there led uh, by number six, and that's Lofton. Wow. I have I have never seen more impressive blocking than what I'm seeing from the Cougars today, Matt. I mean, Lofton's getting out there. He's flattening out, pancaking some people. 2.55 to go third quarter. And it's going to be now second down and goal for Chino Valley at about the two-yard line of Baghdad. They hope they can get a good push up here. They're running away from Isaac, uh, of Isaac Morris. They're running away from him. And why not? He, he's a big presence in the middle there for Baghdad. They've been going around the edges. 
So now on second and goal from about the two-yard line, Felton has in the backfield with him. He has Cuelo there at a fullback position. And also you have a number of 15, and that is Schreiner right off of there. And so this time they'll head it off going the other way. It's going to be taken by number two, Nisley. Nisley is stopped just short at the one-yard line. So nice tackle. Armstrong in there for Baghdad. Armstrong was strong on that play, Matt. He got in there. He made a great tackle there on Chino Valley. This this becomes big here. If Baghdad can get a couple stops here before you end of the quarter, maybe get some momentum for the fourth. Yeah, we have about a, a minute 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. Again, Baghdad leads by the score of 33. I'm sorry, Chino Valley leads Baghdad by the score of 33 to 19. And this would be big to try to hold them somehow here from scoring. So you have Felton up uh, behind his center. And this is going to be a handoff. Lofton fakes, takes it, goes, cuts, finds his hole. Touchdown for Lofton for Chino Valley. Touchdown. Well, Matt, Chino Valley right there. The explosiveness of Lofton right there in that power running game. I think starting to wear down Baghdad on that drive. And here it showed right here. Lofton got a key block from number two right there nicely on that play and he got free for a touchdown great block there by nicely one yard to run for nicely and uh, so right now they extend their lead to uh, 39 to 19 and let's see if they can get this uh, conversion and so right now Baghdad wants to talk things over so we'll keep it right here so they're gonna be going for this uh, conversion and right at one time Baghdad was leading this ball game, scores of 6-0, 13-6 Jake, and 19-13. And so from there on out, then it's Chino Valley really start taking control, go up 20-19, 26-19. And uh, it, it was big. And then also uh, you have it, and uh, so they've come up huge for it. Yeah, and it looks like Chino Valley's putting some distance between them and Baghdad here on the play. Yeah, and we also will want to watch uh, that replay again before we go to break. At this time, two-point conversion. Kimberly does get across, and I believe he does. And makes the score now 41-19. Let's go back to that last touchdown run for Chino Valley. Here, 128 to go. Lofton gets the ball. That's right, instead of Nisley. So Lofton gets a nice handoff there. They've run that play several times. It works this time, Jake, again. Yeah, Chino Valley scored 40 points in this game already. And we're not even through the end of the third quarter. There's been a lot of points, 59 points total scored in this game, Matt. So we've seen an offensive show from both ball clubs. Yeah, so Lofton getting that one into the end zone. And today he has eight carries for 69 yards. And he uh, also today has a touchdown, two TDs. He had a 25-yard TD earlier in the game. So a good game out of Lofton, too. So they're spreading it around, and they kind of hitting it hard with Kimberly up the middle, kind of soften up the middle a little bit. We saw him run the edges, and we saw him more down working the middle. Very impressed with Chino Valley, Matt. They got a big offensive line, and they're using it to their to their best of their uh, ability right now in this game. Well, Chino Valley facing the defense strongly here against Baghdad. It forced two turnovers uh, in this ball game, and so again they've uh, done a good job of that. This time they'll kick it, and I think we get a, a penalty flag here, though. And uh, so as uh, this mighty might championship game. Is rolling along here in the third quarter, a minute 28 to go in the third quarter with Chino Valley leading by the score. Well, they have up on the board. That's right, it's just a one point conversion. So it is a 40 to 19. I still have my mind on uh, high school, college, and NFL. <laughs> so if you kick it, it's two points in uh, youth football. If you run it in or pass it in, it's just uh, one point. And uh, now we're going to await the kick after that penalty. And let's see, Cone certainly has been strong for them. He's had a return for a TD today. And it's up to the up back at about uh, the 25-yard line. And that's going to be uh, number 26, Owings. Deegan Owings. And Owings is tackled at about the 33-yard line. So first down and 10 now for Baghdad, who trails 41-19 with about a minute 15 seconds to go in the third quarter for Baghdad Razorbacks. In this game, it's been the quarterback, Cone, 19 carries, 141 yards. 
So he's been huge, and you know maybe again he can get loose here in this ball game. It's a lot of a lot of game left, Matt. The, at the rate that teams are scoring points, I mean maybe if they can get a touchdown here with Cone, and then maybe get a fumble or something. There's there's a lot of time left in this ball game. Hey, we have another Chino Valley team coming up next in the Miners' third place game. Number three Chino Valley Cougars taking on number four Cottonwood Bears. And so right now, at first down and 10 at their own 33 for Baghdad. Uh, Cohn uh, is the quarterback, and he will throw it and complete at about the 40-yard line. Uh, nice completion out there at the wide receiver there. Owings on another pass reception up to the 40-yard line. Second down now and a three, so he's now completed two passes to Owings for 29 yards. And Baghdad's running the quick huddle offense here. Get another and, playoff. And uh, so they're rolling now. This is Cone with the football. Cone gets up to about the 40, ah, they're going to say maybe about the 43-yard line of uh, Baghdad. Pick up a three. So close to a first down. Did he get enough? I think it was a little short. So third down now and one. 20 carries, 143 yards now for Cone. Another quarterback sneak. And this is Cone again. Oh. Cone gets up to about the 49-yard line. So enough for first down, first down and 10. Uh, wow. Got whacked right there by Wagner. Uh, I'm surprised Cone's still up on his feet, Matt. He, he took a hit right there. But Cone's showing he's a tough kid. These kids are tough. I'm very impressed, Matt, with these kids' mental toughness and their physical toughness for their age. Well, that's now 21 carries for 149 yards for Cone for Chino Valley. I'm sorry for Baghdad Razorbacks. And they have first down and 10 at the 49 of Baghdad with about 23 seconds left to go third quarter. And if they're going to try to get back in this game, they're going to really need to score here. At this time, Cone has a little trouble. They had a little mix up there on the handoff. And so it'll bring up now second down and 10 at their own 40. Yeah, I still say 49 yard line. A little mix up there. A little mix up there, Matt. It looks like Cone wanted to hand it off to. Um one of his players right there, which would have been uh, Armstrong. but And this is Cone this time running with the football himself. And he's at uh, midfield, and he stretches across down to about the 47-yard line of uh, Chino Valley. So pick up a four, third down, and uh, six yards to go. So nice little pick up there for him. And this will bring us to the end of the third quarter. Well, the yes, you're right after that particular play. It does bring him also to 153 yards on the ground. We complete three quarters of play. Our score, Mighty Mice Championship, is Chino Valley 41, Baghdad Razorbacks 39. I'm sorry, 19. Buena <laughs> Vista Children's Services. Advocating for children in the Verde Valley since 2001 through projects such as child care, preschool, discovery connection, child abuse prevention, parenting education, Cottonwood's annual children's celebration, early childhood education conference, and DES home recruitment. For more information, call us at 646-5200. Buena Vista, seeing a bright future in children. <laughs> At Ponderosa Electric, we put serve back into the meaning of service. For over 15 years, Ponderosa Electric has been providing quality service to the Quad City areas. From new construction, remodeling, and generators to simply replacing an outlet, there's no job too big or small. Our skilled, uniformed, and professional techs will set your mind at ease about the job we're performing and who you're letting into your home. For dependable, on-time service from the time we enter to the time we leave, call Ponderosa Electric for all your electrical needs. A proud member of the YCCA. NAYF Mighty Might Championship game starting the fourth quarter. It is Chino Valley leading Baghdad by the score of 40 to 19. Matt Showalter along with Jake Clement. Baghdad has the football third down and six from the Chino Valley 47 yard line. Here's Cone will keep it himself. It'll be stacked up and uh, he might lurch ahead for maybe a yard gain. So fourth down and about five yards to go down at about the 46 of Chino Valley. Trying to break Cone loose there. 154 yards on 23 carries. 
Here's the thing. The second half, Matt, they pretty much held Cone to about 25, 30 yards, which is huge in this game because Chino's been able to score a couple touchdowns and put some distance. But this is a key fourth down here. If Baghdad can convert, maybe get a touchdown, they might get themselves back in this game. Yeah, they trail 41 to 19, and they'll break out of the huddle. And they'll have, let's see, three, uh, two in the backfield there with Cone. And they'll go ahead and most likely set up for a running play here, even though he's had a couple of complete passes. And again, for Mighty Mites, you don't see that very much, but they're two of two passing for 19 yards. Timeout, well, timeouts here for Baghdad yeah, Razorbacks. Razorbacks. Now, this is a team coming off two solid defensive performances. Uh, they uh, certainly have been strong this year. Uh, besides Lucian Cohn, who's doing a great job at quarterback, you have that Gavin Armstrong, who's uh, anchoring there at defensive end, too. And so is uh, Deegan Owens at that linebacker position. Whenever they made some key stops today, they've been in on a lot of that. And uh, right now they have uh, shown some quickness, but I think the size of Chino Valley – Jake, I think, has really started to wear down Baghdad a little. Yeah, it has, Matt. Chino Valley, size-wise, I'd have to say, is much bigger than Baghdad, size-wise. And so I knew early on when Baghdad had gotten those three touchdowns that it would probably be close early because of Cone and the factor of his speed. But I knew Chino Valley's size and speed would wear down Baghdad. So, yeah, you mentioned it. Fourth down and six now for Baghdad um, at the 46 of Chino Valley. And, uh, again, a big play here for them. They have a little problem with the handoff, but Cone will keep it himself, 45, and close to a first down. Don't know he makes it. No, he gets down to about the 43-yard line of Chino Valley. So pickup of three on the play, 157 yards now rushing for Cone on uh, 24 carries. What a bummer there. Cone was about a half a yard short of the first down. As he, That was a great run considering he had no block in there. For Baghdad and Cones getting close to 160 yards in this ball game. And so now for Chino Valley Cougars, they'll take the football first down at 10 at their own 43 yard line. And they've been able to start to use all kinds of different players in this ball game for them. And they lead by the score of 40 19. Felton is the quarterback. He has two receivers split out here to his left. And I think we're going to get a penalty flag against Chino play, Valley. Play. So penalty flag against Chino Valley. Going to move that ball back a little bit. And so an illegal procedure, false start. So first down and 15. And they'll move the ball back to their own 38-yard line. Coming up later on in action in championship Saturday here at Northern Arizona Youth Football. It's the Miners' third place game, number three, Chino Valley Cougars against number four, Cottonwood Bears. And then the Miners' championship game, number one, William Bengals versus number two, Baghdad Razorbacks. The Majors Championship, 4 o'clock, number one, Wickenburg Wranglers versus number two, Cottonwood Panthers. That's a rematch from last season. Wow, here. Matt, we have two different games that we've seen thus far this morning. The 8 o'clock game, which featured um, Camp, Camp Verde, Verde and Coyotes Cottonwood. and Cottonwood Marauders. Marauders. was a low-scoring defensive battle. Now, this has been an offensive battle. Lofton getting loose, 45-40. Wow, somebody holds on to him. Cone brings him down at about the third down. Cone's made some big stops here in this game. You know what? That might end up being a hard player of the game here when it comes time to end. Even though Galeos has had the majority of the big runs, Lofton's had the, the power runs in this game. So Lofton coming up with 33 yards on the play. He comes up now with 102 yards rushing, 194 for Coelho. And he carries Cone here seven yards on this play, as it's shown here on the screen. First down and 10, uh, they'll say at about the 40-yard line uh, for Chino Valley Cougars on the march here in the fourth quarter as the sun continues to shine more and more. 8.39 left to go. Uh, fourth quarter, handoff down to about the 36-yard line. Uh, for Chino Valley, the Baghdad 36, inside of 36. Me and Matt Showalter all for the sun shining right now. Is when we came in here, it was about 40 degrees. I think it's colder than that, buddy. And now it has warmed up to probably about 50 degrees. So we've so the sun could play a factor in these next games, Matt, because it's starting to dry up the field, and maybe the players, you know, will have less problems handling the football. Yeah, that's true. They and actually, I'm surprised there hasn't been more turnovers. Second down and six after that four-yard pickup there. 
And uh, so right now with the ball is the Chino Valley Cougars. Felton been a quarterback the whole entire way, did a good job getting the ball handed off to his various backs a couple of times, taking it himself. And he has back there, let's see, it's going to be Lofton. Lofton tries to get outside, does, 30. He's 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Lofton for Chino Valley. That coming 36 yards out. And there looks to be a flag on the play. Could be a clip on the Cougars. And if it is, it'll negate the touchdown. Well, pretty good blocking there. He's able to still bounce outside as he got good uh, blocking from his receiver tight end position. And let's see what they're going to call on this one. Now, they might, if it is against Chino Valley, what could occur is, is that depending on where that penalty was, if it's deeper on the run, then it could be some kind of infraction down there uh, behind the run. And uh, give him credit at least to where the ball was. And that goes against Chino Valley. But they'll still say it's a touchdown. A 36-yard TD run, a personal foul on Chino Valley. And then that's now 30, 138 yards rushing. You weren't wrong when you said that earlier, Jake, because now Lofton catching up with Coelho. He has 138 yards, and he has three TDs himself. And I think Lofton should get the player of the game, Matt, because I think his runs have been – They've been hard. They've All been right, hard you, and gonna, you and I are probably going to have get into it this game. I, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm still Coelho man here if his score holds up. Right now it is 46 uh, tonight. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but the play-by-play -play man gets the final vote. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> okay, so that, 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 that touchdown run for Lofton does count. They have a penalty against Chino. And so they'll mark that off a little bit later. I, I have it easy. I have Cone. And let's see. They will not get the conversion. So now they lead by the score of 46 to 19 here in the fourth quarter. That was a 36-yard TD run by Lofton. And as we talked about his third TD of the game. And right now, Chino Valley running ahead of it. So we'll go ahead and take a break. It's the Mighty Mice Championship game, fourth quarter. It is Chino Valley 46 and uh, Baghdad 19 uh, in AYF Championship Day on Verde Valley TV. All Price Insurance on Main Street in Cottonwood is your local insurance provider for personal and commercial insurance. Call and compare 23 insurance companies for home, health, auto, RV, motorcycle, boat, or ATV. Specialty insurance and insurance bonds are no problem at All Price Insurance. Call or visit All Price Insurance today. Seven fifty-eight to go, fourth quarter. Of this Mighty Mice Championship game, where Chino Valley leads by the score of forty-six to nineteen. As this is the second uh, of five games on Championship Day, a couple of third-place games, and then uh, three championship games. Well, they're trying to keep finding the hole. Can't quite do it to about the forty-seven yard line. So Baghdad will have it now, first down and ten here in the fourth quarter. It'd be nice right here, Matt, to see Baghdad get a drive. You know, you know the score is lopsided right now. Baghdad has played hard in this game. They've, it's been a very hard-fought battle. Baghdad has fought in this game. Well, I'll tell you the way that was going, Jake, in that first quarter. I mean, Baghdad, you know, they, they take the lead. They didn't answer everything that Chino Valley did. But, again, it's, uh, as they say, it's a course of four quarters. And it's this Chino Valley defense that starts to figure certain things out. They just got some – Superior talent there on that side of the ball. Size and speed, too, for Baghdad. To be honest, a smallish team, but great heart and pretty good speed in themselves. And so, yeah, I mean, you look at the difference of the size of those lines right there. That can make a difference. So right now for Baghdad, they're back at it. And here is Cohn having it with the ball. And he's at uh, territory for Chino Valley, down to the, about the 44-yard line of uh, Chino Valley. So he picks up uh, yeah, about nine yards on that play. So second down and a one uh, for Cohn, who has uh, 25 carries for 166 yards. 
Cone is well on his way to almost 200 yards this game, Matt. He's uh, He's been running hard for Baghdad. Uh, 25 carries, that's a lot for even a young kid. Yeah, that is. Second down and one from the 44 of Tino Valley. Baghdad with the football. And they trail again by the score 46-19, trying to get something on the board here. He is looking to pass. Throws and intercepted at the 38-yard line. Intercepted there by number two, Nisley. Nisley takes it down to about the 46-yard line of Baghdad. So turnover on the interception. Wow. That's probably the only mistake Cones made all game, but it cost him. That was a great interception right there. Here's a replay. And let's take a look to see how this occurred. He had the block off the edge, but I tell you, I had a little problem getting over, I think, one of the defenders there, Kimberly, coming up a little big to get over top of him. And so lofted it up and had it intercepted. So Chino Valley will now have the ball, first down and 10, and they'll have the ball at the 46-yard line of Baghdad. And this has got to be... 46-point output, Matt. We would have to look at the history books here, but I, Chino Valley has probably put up some of the most points in Mighty Might history for championship games. Might well, be good one for somebody to look on the Internet. So the ball at the 46 of Baghdad with about uh, 7, about we're going to say about 7.05 to go here in the fourth quarter. Uh, of a game that was, well, competitive for, might as well say, for about mm, two and a half quarters. And But, uh, again, if Baghdad can hold here and get a score, maybe they can show, uh, again, kind of a, a, a little better score because right now Chino Valley, because of the time factor, um, the way things just play out, just uh, tough to make up a lot of points in a short amount of time. And so they finally get into position there, get some backups into the ball game. And uh, so we get a nice little run there on the outside. Whoa, nice little stop there. Uh, nice run there by number 27 for Chino Valley. And uh, see, I don't have that number uh, in there. 23. 23, James thank you. Thank you, Jake. James O'Neill. Here comes big James O'Neill. Oh, it was Taylor. Taylor's 87. Okay, sorry about Correct that. that. So Michael Taylor on Wasn't the even run. on the sheet. Michael Taylor on the run. <laughs> He's on our sheet, though. Yeah, Michael Taylor on the run. So to bring up now, second down, 10 yards to go, Chino Valley. And this time, and this is going to be a handoff again, Taylor running. Whoa, he gets crunched, and he fumbles it. Wow. Ball at midfield. Ah, but it is recovered there by the Cougars. Well, he's a tough kid. He is. He's probably he's about all about knee high. About three feet he's tall. He's about <laughs> knee high, but buddy, he can get those knees a pumping. Mm. Yeah, sure enough, he uh, he doing a pretty strong job there. Taylor, mm. number twenty-seven. He's got to have some proud parents here today. He gets to, gets to watch his kid play. You know, and that's the thing. When you get up this kind of lead, it's great to see the coaches not trying to run up the score. Right. You know, and here's the thing: you got age group five to nine years old usually. You know, and for these coaches to let these younger kids get some experience and the parents get to watch their kids, that's what you want in this league. Yeah, you're it's right. It's not all about yourself. It's all about the kids, and it's like a family. It is, and that's what they talk about for Chino Valley. This is number 22, and that's going to be Holmes, Kai Holmes. He's at 45 to the 40, 35 to the 30-yard line, brought down at the 27-yard line. And a uh, nice stop over there by Cone again. Cone's been in almost every tackle for Baghdad today as he's by far their player of the game. And it looks like to be a holding on Chino. So this will be probably third and about 25 after right. they mark this penalty off. So it will bring us Jake Mitch down, third down and long. We have about five minutes and uh, ten seconds left to go the fourth quarter with Chino Valley in control by the score of 46 to 19. And uh, that penalty will move the ball all the way back to the 43-yard line of Chino Valley. So 15-yard penalty. And uh, so it'll be third down now and about, they're going to say, uh, I'd say probably about uh, 20 yards. Third, So 10-yard penalty. Third down and 20 from the 43 now of Chino Valley. And again, different players getting in and out of the game for both squads. So good to see that. Dan Felton still at quarterback here. 
And uh, they'll give Holmes. Holmes running backwards trying to find a hole. And uh, not a bad thought, but he's dropped back to the 49, his own 39-yard line, loss of four. So fourth down, 24. Great. This is great to get these kids out here, get some playing time. Holmes hasn't really been in for run plays this game for Chino, and they're getting in some playing time for the younger kids that don't get a lot of time. In this league, you know, I was saying before, you want to you want to teach the kids, you know, it's not all about them. It's not all about self. It's all about letting the kids play, having a good time, and enjoying football at this age. Oh, you're right. You're right, Jake. It is very important. They're learning the game, and uh, it's fun to play. There he is. So fourth down to 24, and they're going to actually give a little pass here. Slings it nice. Wow. Falls incomplete. So, hey, not bad. Nice little toss there. Felton did on that one. So falls incomplete. Baghdad will take the football. And now they're going to have it first down and 10. And they'll have the ball inside Chino Valley territory at about the Chino Valley 38 yard line. First down and 10 there. I'd like to see Baghdad get another touchdown on the board because they've, they've really fought hard in this game. I, I really think the score don't indicate how hard Baghdad has played in this game, Matt, thus far. Well, it's uh, that's true. Now, Cone only needs 34 yards rushing to get 200 for the game. That'd be nice to see uh, in this game where they trail by the score of uh, 46 to 19. And this time it's actually a throw intercepted there by Kimberly. Uh, Owings, the quarterback now, throws the interception. And uh, again, it's uh, taken over by Chino Valley on that turnover. It's fourth turnover in the game for Baghdad now. Two fumbles. Two interceptions. It looks like they're pulling Cone out of the game, too, at least yeah. on offense here, to get some more players some time. And that's that's awesome to see somebody else get in a little bit of time here at quarterback. Is This game's pretty much been over here in the fourth quarter as Chino Valley's broken it wide open. So there's been a lot of players that have gotten a lot of playing time. And that's right, 46-19. Chino Valley winning right now. And Cuelo, well, he's uh, done a lot today for Chino Valley as he's four touchdowns, three for Lofton today. For Cohn, for uh, Baghdad in this ball game, uh, he has three touchdowns. And we get a penalty flag. One of the things, too, you know, you're at this age, Jake, is a mighty might player, well, like all youth football players, even up to high school, you're still learning, and you can still learn even as a pro. But you're learning how to play the game, you know, learning things. And one of the things is is formations, when to start, stop, and, and things of that nature. So uh, this will mark off against Chino Valley. So that'll bring up first and 15 back at their own 41-yard line. And there's been more penalties in this game than there has been in the other game. Yeah, it was. And a lot of those coming here in the second half. Let's see, Felton in at quarterback. Uh, Taylor will take it. Taylor will roll out, uh, roll backwards, and try to, ooh, and he's brought down to about the 34-yard line, so he'll lose about seven on the, that play. So young Taylor dropped for a seven-yard loss, so second down now and 22 for Chino Valley Cougars. And uh, about 3.30 left to go here in the fourth quarter. I'll tell you, that little Taylor can take some hits, though, man. <laughs> he, <laughs> he can. Uh, he almost got bent over backwards right there by one of the Baghdad players, number 25 for Baghdad, which is um, Isaac Morris, one of their big boys on that line. Boy, don't want to get hit by him. That's right. And uh, certainly we uh, have seen some good football here on both sides, uh, both sides for today, Baghdad and Chino Valley. And let's see, uh, Taylor will come out of the ball game. He'll be replaced there by number 11, Hunter Merritt, gets in for Chino Valley Cougars. This has been fun calling these games, too. They, these teams are very competitive. They're, I mean, this is just not normal five-year-old to nine-year-olds playing football. These, these kids are very competitive. Well, another thing, too, is that uh, they put a lot of time in during the week in practice. Uh, we have Felton quarterback there awaiting his snap from the center. He gets it, and he'll hand it off coming near Sant Coelho. Has it. Coelho has it. Ooh, he is. Okay, he gets tackled at about the 35. He runs into the referee whose back was to the play and hit his elbow. His head was turned toward the play, but nice assist by the ref helping back that out. Let's take a look at that one, Jake. Ref laughed. Look at this. Kaleo's coming around the side. There's a ref. Ref's going to lay a boom on him. 
Boom! Head first into the referee. That's the only way you're going to take Alejo down today. Yeah, and the referee's right. got to stand in the way because other than that, he's. You know, that's, he, Coelho only needs five yards for 200 today. That's 195 yards on that one. Uh, well, one yard gives him 195. 2.22 left to go. Fourth quarter, 46-19, Chino Valley in the lead. It looks like some more players get some more time out there on the line. 52 for Chino Valley, 17 for Chino Valley. Uh, number 43, William Pegues, and number 17 Garcia, is Frederick, Frederick Garcia. Garcia. So let's see if any of those uh, potentially might touch the football here. And uh, they're going to have now on this uh, bring up third down 21 uh, from uh, – the 35 of Chino Valley. Here's the snap. Uh, here's the handoff. And it's going to be taken by Ooh. number 11, Hunter Merritt. <laughs> he Hunter got Merritt. laid out on that play right there. It's number – boy, that, that young man from Baghdad is a big boy. Number 25, Isaac Morris, Matt. That, Minus seven yards for Merritt there. Boom. 39, excuse me, on that play. Get the name right here. Alejo Lee for Baghdad on the tackle. So Alejo Lee Lee uh, on the tackle. About a minute and 45 seconds left to go now here in this fourth quarter, this Mighty Might Championship game here from Cottonwood. Felton is the quarterback. He has behind him is Lofton. This time it'll be handing off. Coming near sideline is number 22 is Holmes. Ooh. Holmes will be dropped at a short of the 30-yard line. A late penalty flag down at about the 28-yard line. So gain of nothing. So it'll be turnover on downs. There is going to be a 15-yard penalty added on to the end of this play for a face mask. So we'll see. Yeah, if it's a personal foul penalty on the face mask, held it too long, well, that might give automatic first down which would pretty much salt this game away at this point. Well, they could just take uh, maybe one run in the knee or something, but uh, they'll march it off. It will go against Baghdad. So what happens is you get you get playing there. You might even get your hand kind of, so to speak, stuck in there. Nothing uh, ill will intended. The ball up to the 43 now of Chino Valley, so it should be automatic first down. First down and 10 for Chino Valley now after that penalty on Baghdad at their own 43-yard line. So, again, both teams able to go to the benches and get a lot of players in here. And we have had over 500 yards of total offense in this game all together by both teams. Matt, what a remarkable yeah. offensive show today. And you almost had it out of uh, two players almost pretty, pretty much. much. Well, basically three. And uh, Seth Coelho and all Lofton and also Cone for Baghdad. Oh, William Pegues has it. Pegues gets turned around. Uh, by one of his players, and a uh, nice try, though. Knocked back to the 35-yard line. Loss of eight there for Pegues on the play, but uh, pretty good run. I know him. I know William Pegues. I call him Will I Am Pegues. Uh, he's quite he's, – he loves football, loves sports, uh, has always wanted to do this, and uh, great to see William Pegues out on the field doing a great job. And he just uh, had the right idea but got turned back by his own player, got bumped into a couple of the players, kind of took him down there, but uh, – Hey, he's into it. He's playing hard even uh, late in this game like that. So good to see him get a chance to touch the ball. What's nice and stirring for me is I have a six-year-old son named Deadeye Jr. I'm going to call him Deadeye Jr. He's six years old, Matt, and he's starting to play football for Mighty Mites out in California. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm sure he will. I, he might outdo his dad. That's he will a do outdo his dad. Well, you never know. You have a pretty good career at Bradshaw as a special teams guy mainly. Well, Baghdad gets the ball after turnover on downs uh, with about a minute left to go here in the fourth quarter. And let's see. I think we're going to see taken by Cone. Cone gets to the 25. Tone to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Cone gets that touchdown. So he gets it out from 43 yards out for Cone. 36. 36. Thanks a lot, Jake. Let's take a look at the replay. And Cone got my dream wish. 200 yards rushing right here as he goes around the left side. You see it here. Just goes out in front of his lineman. Just beats everybody to the side here for Chino Valley as Cone is now at about 200 yards rushing. Yeah, 202 yards rushing and also four touchdowns on the day. This coming in the fourth quarter on a 36-yard TD run there by Cone for Baghdad. So Cone's coach for Baghdad wanted to get him in there, which I can't see who the coach is. 
And so right now we'll go see the uh, the uh, point conversion here. Roll into his left, left, and throws in the end zone. Wide open, and he gets the conversion. That's the third time he's completed the pass. 46-26. Well, makes the uh, final score going to look a lot closer. What a great game we've had today, Matt. 72 points scored in this game. We had a low-scoring game. Now we have a high-scoring game. Both these teams played really hard offensively. There was a lot of yards in this game, a lot of long touchdown runs. This is a lot of action in this game for Mighty Might. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's uh, certainly has been a tremendous turnout by the fans and parents, and uh, the players doing a tremendous job on both sides of the ball here for this Mighty Mice Championship game. And we have about 47 seconds left to go here in this fourth quarter from Bright Field in Cottonwood. And uh, again, the sun has peered out a couple of different times, but right now it's starting to get cloudy again. But the rain has been holding off for, well, pretty much this entire uh, game here of this Mighty Mice Championship. Might have had just a little bit, of, a little bit of rain at the very beginning, but it's uh, been a little breezier though. But uh, both teams handle it pretty well. So I'm wondering here, maybe back that tries an onside kick. Yeah, I'm third. thinking, they'll, yeah, they'll probably try that, give it a shot. I mean, 46-26, sure, why not? Me and being a special teams guy, yeah, enjoyed the onside kick. Here we go, they'll, they'll do it. Well, some might say all Mighty Mike kicks are kind of onside-like, you know? <laughs> they don't have the strongest of legs yet, they're so young. Back that comes up with it. How about it? Yeah, you just <laughs> kick that, go pick it up. Baghdad has. How about that? Well, let's see what happens here, Jake. You get too many of those going, you get 47 seconds. You got left. Cone running the football. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You got that right. So they'll have the ball. First down and 10. And they'll have it at about uh, the 37 uh, yard line of Chino Valley. Chino got it. Oh, they did say Chino did get it. Well, okay. The official, I thought for a second there, was motioning that other way. But uh, sorry to excite all the Baghdad fans there for a moment. Uh, the ball goes right back over to Chino Valley then on uh, first down and 10 at their own 37-yard line. So they'll line it up there. So we see Felton, quarterback. He'll hand it off. Taylor has it. Taylor will get crunched down at about the 33-yard line. So lost there about four on the play. And what a great game we've had here, Matt. I've, I'm really looking forward to these other three games, Baghdad, Razorbacks, and the Chino Valley Cougars. What a great game we had this second game, Matt. And what promises to be a great day of football yet to come. And right now with about 20 seconds left to go, it'll be a first, uh, second down now. And uh, I'm going to say about 14 yards to go. They'll be headed off here, coming near sideline. That's going to be number 22, Holmes, uh, for Chino Valley. And uh, he gets up to about um, maybe about three or four yards on that play. And so he does it. We come to the end of this ball game. Final score, the three-time now Mighty Mike champions are the Chino Valley Cougars. They defeat Baghdad by the final score of 46-26. We'll be back with a scoring summary, stats, and players of the game when we return on Verde Valley TV. Superior Propane is a fourth-generation family-owned business serving Northern Arizona residents for over a decade. Superior Propane can help with any and all propane products. From residential tanks to propane-powered vehicles and installation to regular delivery. Superior Propane is a proud sponsor of the Northern Arizona youth football teams from Williams and would like to congratulate them on another great season. Superior Propane is Northern Arizona's premier propane company. Our whole team is here to help you get the most out of each workout here at the Cottonwood Recreation Center. No other garage door opener opens your world like a lift master. What other garage door opener alerts you if you forgot to close it and gives you the ability to close it from anywhere, anytime with MyQ technology? 
only a professionally installed LiftMaster. From long-lasting LiftMaster openers to quality garage doors from CHI and Mid-America Door, Northern Arizona Garage Doors is your local professional for installation and repair. Local service makes the difference. Find out more at nazgaragedoors.net. Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros give you more miles for your money. Locally owned and grown, Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros will beat any competitor. Bring your best deal and they'll beat it on price, total service, tire quality, and arguably the best nationwide warranty. For 24 months or 24,000 miles and available at 30,000 locations coast to coast. Get more miles for your money every day from your hometown team, Reese's Tire and Automotive Tire Pros. From the Glen Canyon Dam to the corner sidewalk, Salt River Materials Group has helped build Arizona and the Southwest since 1959. Formerly known as Phoenix Cement and Salt River Sand and Rock, Salt River Materials Group supplies cement and aggregates to Northern Arizona. As a proud supporter of the Northern Arizona community, their customers, employees, and the environment, Salt River Materials Group believes in profitability the right way with integrity, accountability, and excellence. The 2013 Mighty Might champions are the Chino Valley Cougars. They defeat the Baghdad Razorbacks by the final score of 46 to 26. Let's go to the scoring, and as you know, there is a lot of that. In the first quarter, with about 4.36 to go, a seven yard TD run by Cohn for Baghdad puts him up by the score of 6 to 0. He, he does a great job of making people miss on that first step. Four people missed on that first touchdown, Matt. Was his most impressive touchdown of the game, actually, as uh, that made it 6 nothing Baghdad at that point. Well, getting back right on to the board, though, is going to be Chino Valley. They answer immediately after that on a 77-yard kickoff return by number three, Coelho. Coelho goes 77 yards and making that score 6-6. Six to six. That coming with 4.17 to go in the first quarter. There, Coelho is able to pick that ball up after he drops it. He just gets to the edge and just uses speed, but he has some good blocking on the edge there in order to uh, get a clear lane. Every run that touchdown run he had today, Matt, there was great blocking for Chino Valley from their offensive line. Sure was. Well, not to be outdone. Immediately following that, we had three straight touchdowns. This one coming on back-to-back -back kickoff returns. This one, a 73-yard kickoff return by Cone for Baghdad, coming with 4-12 to go first quarter, making that score 13-6 to in the favor of Baghdad because they continue to have this early lead. And Cone shows again why he's the, the key player for this squad. Yeah, he just gets the speed outside, Matt, and just outruns the whole Chino Valley defense on that play. This tips on the sidelines amazing. He stayed in bounds right there, Matt, as he, he knew where the out-of-bounds was right there and made a great run on the play. And so right now, I'm sorry, a little wind kicking up there. We go back to more action here to show that, again, it's going to be Chino Valley getting back on the board, 2.56 to go. It is Coelho on a 37-yard TD run to make the score 13-13. Again, he gets to the edge and just uses speed to get by them. That was all speed right there. It just looks like he got to the edge right there, and there was no back defender within 10 yards on that play. So great touchdown run by Calejo right there. Now, even though Baghdad loses 46-26, at one time they had a 19-13 lead. And, well, this is how they did that one. This coming on the last play of the first quarter, a 47-yard TD run by guess who? Cone. Here goes Cone around the outside. Turns up the speed right there. Beats the defender number three for Chino Calejo and stays in bounds remarkably right here. Matt, what a nice run that was by Cohn. Yeah, he did a tremendous job to go up 19 to 13. Well, this is where Chino Valley started to take control of things. In the second quarter with 8.02 to go, this is Coelho. He gets a 73-yard TD run to put Chino Valley up by the score of 20 to 19. Again, you get good blocking here uh, from the backs to help spring Coelho. Gets to the edge again. There's Kalelo getting outside again. Once he gets outside, you're not catching him. He uses his speed, and he's got, he's got toughness too, Matt, as he stiff arms people. Then in the second quarter with 4.30 to go, a 25-yard TD run by Lofton 
to put Chino Valley up by the score of 26 to 19. And here's how he is able to get to the edge as they do this play several times where they fake the give and then end around it. And Lofton did this several times, Matt, stiffing arm Baghdad defenders to get into the end zone. Three and missed tackles right there, and you've got to give Laughlin credit because he stayed on his feet. Yeah, really good agility, uh, good balance, and strong legs as he powers through. So that uh, puts him up 26 to 19. And then this coming now in the third quarter, 7.59 to go, it's Cuelo. This time gets a 50 yard TD run to put Chino Valley up by the score of 33 to 19. And here comes that play. And the linemen here are able to get the, the, the extra push quickly, and he gets a good block out front there uh, by Lofton. And he stays in bounds right there. That's another play where he did the same thing Cone did. He stayed in bounds when, when he thought he was going to go out of bounds, and he scored the touchdown for a nice score for Chino Valley. Well, if you're going to do some blocking – why not do a little bit of running? Lofton gets a chance to do that. 128 to go third quarter. One-yard TD run, putting uh, Chino Valley and putting the game out of control. 40 to 19, nice little one-yard run here. Finds the edge. He just powers through two guys right there from Baghdad defenders. Stays on his feet, cuts back inside. What a great run there for Lofton. Chino Valley strikes again, 7.58 to go fourth quarter. This one coming on a 36-yard TD run by Lofton. And they go up by the score of 46 to 19. And so let's see this as Lofton gets his third touchdown of the day. Great cutback right there, Matt. Um, great, great TV review right there as he cut through two Baghdad defenders, cut outside. That was a great run there by Lofton. And uh, props to our camera people today, doing a good job. Fourth quarter, 36 yard TD run by Cone will pretty much just put the end of the scoring today. To put Chino Valley in that final score spot of 46-26. Baghdad's Cone getting over 200 yards now on the day on this run. So, though in loss, great day for Cone. Great day for Cone. Four touchdown runs, Matt. He was the Baghdad offense today. We'll come back with our individual stats as well as our players of the game. It's the Mighty Might Championship game. Goes to Chino Valley, winning at 46-26 over the Baghdad Razorbacks. At Taylor & Sons Hauling, your garbage is our business. Taylor & Sons Hauling is a family-owned and operated business built on customer service. Taylor & Sons Hauling provides two to eight yard bins for weekly commercial service with recycling available. Or for construction projects, there's three to six yard bins or 15 to 40 yard roll-off. Taylor & Sons Hauling will beat any competitor's pricing with no annoying fuel surcharges for construction container. Call 649-8335 or visit taylorandsonshauling.com. This is Travis Reed from Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood. People often refer to us as the people place. Let me assure you, whether it's our involvement in the community or with our customers that visit, we make it a priority to keep that reputation. If you're in the market for a newer pre-owned car, truck, van, or SUV, you'll find our selection extensive and our sales team professional and courteous. Visit Larry Green Chevrolet in Hyundai of Cottonwood, two dealerships in one convenient location just off Highway 260 next to Walmart in Cottonwood. From all of us at Larry Green Chevrolet, Hyundai of Cottonwood, and the Green Auto Group, we're in Service, convenience, price. Taylor Waste is locally owned and voted number one in residential garbage collection for the past eight years in a row. And right now, new customers will enjoy two months free service with your switch to Taylor Waste. Add an extra container and take part in Taylor Waste's popular, clean recycling program as well. Hi, I'm Chris Taylor, owner of Taylor Waste. We're proud to serve our friends and neighbors with service tailored to your needs. And let's go to the Geno Valley Cougars individual stats in their 46-26 Mighty Mites Championship, third in a row for them. It is Weston Coelho. He serves burn notice on Baghdad. Uh, seven carries, 195 yards, five TDs, three on the ground, and then he had two on kick returns. Lofton, 10 carries, 138 yards, and three TDs. And that was the key offensive people for Chino Valley, for Baghdad. It was Cone uh, for them. And uh, so Cone coming up big there uh, for the Baghdad Razorback Solution. Cone had uh, 26 carries, 202 yards, and four touchdowns. Well, 
Who's player of the game for Baghdad Razorbacks? None other Jake. than Lucian Cohn, Matt. What a great game. Four TD runs. He was very impressive for his team. 202 yards, an average of almost eight yards a carry. What a great player he was in this game. And I get to pick the one from Chino Valley Cougars, Weston Coelho's. My choice, seven carries, 195 yards, five TDs. A tremendous day. So the Mighty Might champions for 2013 and make it now three in a row. Chino Valley Cougars winners over the Baghdad Razorbacks. The final score, 46-26. And for Jake Clement, I'm Matt Showalter. Northern Arizona Youth Football Mighty Might champions, the Chino Valley Cougars. Congratulations.